Hello. Hang on, hang on. Let's get a bit. There we go. Hey, how's it going, folks? Can you hear me? Looking over here. Chat is here. Let me let me even move you. Hello, hello, how y'all doing? He's 80 now. <laughs> yeah, I saw one message where I was like, congrats on surviving to 56. Appreciate it. Oh, Jesus. How's it going, folks? Are you well? Oh, God. Actually, no, I gotta put the chat back where it was. It, it feels unnatural. I, like, dragged you over to that monitor, so I'm not, like, looking that way as much. But yeah, how y'all doing, though, folks? He's not wearing the purple shirt. I know, it's a shock horror. I, I, I own other clothes. Ah, uh, How y'all doing? I'm old now. I'm 28. We missed you, Father Dearest. That, that just sounds weird, but... Uh, I mean, that, that's how things have gone in this chat, ain't it? There's no going back there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Quarter life crisis. Can't wait. I've been having, look, I've been having a midlife crisis for at least 15 years now, right? Ah, oh, Jesus. But yeah, how's it going, though, folks? You're all very welcome to the stream. We have a fair bit happening today before we uh, get to any games. Uh, we're going to be playing Superstar Saga later. Uh, there's a reason we're up in Pokemon as well. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, and I want to talk magic as well, today. Um, because there's been, there's been a whole lot happening the last week. I wasn't here, like, uh, most of it. I, I left and flew over to London on my birthday. Uh, and I've been crashing there, and I only got back on, like, Sunday. Uh, thank you, everyone, for the birthday wishes. Unbelievably kind he is. There's been a lot of kind words. Uh, I want to give mention even, like, um, because people have been doing this on Twitter where we we have a hashtag now. It's quite exciting stuff. Uh, this has actually helped me out in finding fan art and stuff like that, too. Uh, which has been very kind of folks to do. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find some of it. I have to actually put in the hashtag or it doesn't show up, I think. People did it for my birthday, and, like, I've been trying to catch, like, as much of this as I can. I just want to like kind of showcase some of it. I mean, give me one sec and I will get this up. Everything, everything just takes an age because I'm old. Uh, hang on. Is that showing? I think that's showing. People have been using the hashtag, like, RT Game Crowd on Twitter, and actually sharing, like, a shitload of fan art, and a lot of it's written for my birthday. I'm still only catching bits of this. I've not even seen this one. That is amazing. Thank you, Marbles. Uh, people have been posting loads of this. Like, over the last while. Some of it's just been around the VTuber debut and that, too. Some of it's been kind of tying together with that. But it's been really sweet of people. Uh, and I just want to say thank you. Like, there's a real mix of stuff in here. Uh, there's a lot of, like, kind of, like, for the VTuber debut, there is stuff just for, specifically for the birthday. I, uh, it, it's cool that people are just even organizing the art like that. It makes it so much easier for me to find, honestly, because, like, I'm old on most technology. Uh, I appreciate people doing this. <laughs> like, just look at this! Like, that's awesome! There's been so much. There's been so many, like, you know, like, kind little doodles and everything that people have been doing. It's really sweet of folks. Like, like, thank you so much for doing this. Um, like, people have been organizing on Twitter, and then, like, I believe on, like, Instagram, you can just tag me in it, and it just shows up in my profile, which is, like, for Boomer Me, that one is great if you just want to, like, kind of send it to me and make it sure, make sure I see it. Uh, but, like, seriously, I thank you to everyone who's been doing this. Like, it's been, it's been sweet. It's been a lot of, like, the I want die plushies around. I don't even know this simple. <laughs> That one's a bit menacing. <laughs> but yeah, just thank you everyone. Like seriously, it's been it's been very kind of you. Um, you know, and I just wanted to kind of give that just a little mention, just now that we're back in streaming today. People have been very kind. I try to catch as much of it as I possibly can. Uh when it's shared to me on like Twitter and Instagram. Just and even on the Discord too. Yeah, I know we have a fan art channel there. 
Uh, I sum that up. Just hang on one sec. Give me a moment. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look into. Hang on. Oh, give me a second. This is because I'm old. I'm sorry, gang. Hang on. Pfft. I'm so alarmingly old. Okay, yeah. So I, I can, I can show like a little bit of this. Hang on. Like blip. Like you can see some of it just through like kind of even the Discord. But, uh, like people made this amazing like birthday cake fan art, where it was like um like everyone did like a layer of a cake and it was insane. Uh, thank you like the users for just organizing that. Like there's there's a lot of like cake segment fan arts that kind of came from it. And, like there's been so many cool ones. Again, thank you to everyone who's just been sharing them. Like like this is what I mean. This is like one like the cake layers. And this is like a, just a huge collaborative piece that people did, which was insane. Are you old enough yet for Fortnite? I need to be 36. 36 is when I started playing. Yeah, like there's so much here. Like, look, here's like a Dark Souls. This is like with Beckett layer of the cake. Uh, these are so unique and creative. Like, it's so, it's so cool. I, I've tried to catch as much of this as I possibly can. There's also auto fan art just kind of creep it in. <laughs> I, I love this though. No, that's a cake layer. That's a cake layer as well. It is. You can see it with the pillars. That like, that's awesome. That's the thing. Like, just just thank you so much to everyone um, for all the fan art lately. Like, like, there's been an explosion of it between like birthday and the VTuber uh, debut. It's it's been incredibly kind to people. Um, and you know, I I just wanted to take a moment and just say, hey, I see it. You know, like thank you. It, it's unbelievably kind to people. It really is. Did you get a haircut? I got a haircut a while back. It's a little bit shorter at the moment. I always get it like this short and then it grows out a little. Uh, I'm just comfier with that. Lighting might be a bit weird in case I look like a bit pink or like red in the face or something. Ah, oh, Jesus. He's all seeing. <laughs> you look like an American trucker. And you just get like a baseball cap, you know, or something and uh, get to hit the road. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I, we, we have quite a bit to talk about. Um, I want to try and just give a rundown of, of, of like everything. I mean, like birthday stuff has been happening. Uh, I want to talk about Pokemon as well. I really want to talk to you about Pokemon. Uh, so for those who missed it, uh, or missed me talking about it, uh, I competed in the uh, Pokemon International Championships last week. Um... And I got 5-4 in my rounds uh, with a Tinkerton, which is a net positive. I'm slightly above average. Turns out I played like one of the guys who came 6th as well. And I beat him once, which I'm really happy with. Um, I was using the Tinkerton team. I was very happy. Uh, I already know what changes I'm going to make to the team next time. But the event was so much fun here. We're going to... We're gonna be hopping like a bit about like I know we're still in just chatting, so don't don't worry. I I know we are we are just chatting. I think I can no, my camera my camera is gone. Here's the team I used. Uh I had Taffy, aka Tinkerton. I had Iron Hands with a swords dance setup and kind of grass terror. You might recognize these two from the team we made at Wolfie. Here's where it starts to get a bit weird though. Chien Pao. Very aggressive Pokemon, you slap a focus sash on it. Uh, we were using a Dragon Darts Phantom Force Dragapult, which is apparently one of the fastest things in the entire meta. Uh, this thing is fucking amazing, and I had I had so much fun just using this. You can see, like, uh, can I change like the view of it that you can see? No, it's gonna be like on the stats. That's fine. I had an Amoongus, uh, because it's just a bulky monster, and it had a flying Arcanine. Um, the idea was, is you use Tinkerton as the kind of support, and then these two are your main core that just destroy everything. And it worked remarkably well. Like, uh, I, I lost, like, a good few games just down to choice picks. Uh, my biggest mistake was bringing these two boils. Uh, if I did it again, I would swap these immediately, and I already know what I'm gonna swap it with. Iron Leaves instead of Amoongus, and a Gyarados instead of Arcanine. Uh, I was really weak to Ting Lu, and I had a lot of trouble facing against Ting Lu, which is, like, a big, ground, dark monster. Uh, everyone used it. Um, one of my opponents got a Fissure with his Ting Lu, which was very upsetting. 
uh, because Fissure only has a 30% chance uh, to hit. And if it hits, you simply just die and lose the game. Um, so I lost respect for that opponent, but everyone else was fine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, like, honestly, a lot of people even at the tournament were joking about that. It's like, because there was a lot of things lose where, like, they didn't run it. And people would even say, it's like, mad props to you, you're not running Fissure. It should be banned. It should absolutely be banned. It, it's stupid that it hasn't been. <laughs> um, because, you know, it's literally just random chance and bullshittery that determines if you win or lose. There is a bit of random chance of Pokemon already, grab it, but this is just an extreme version of it. One hit KO boost, sure are great. The tournament itself was wild, alright? So, um, I, 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 I flew over on my birthday. Um, and I was there mainly on Thursday, so like April 14th for the tournament. We started at 9 a.m. We finished battling at 9 p.m. It was 12 hours of Pokemon with a, with a one hour lunch break in the middle of that, which was intense. I was exhausted come the end of it. Uh, 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 yeah, they, they cram everything into the one day. I thought they would space it more over the three days that the tournament was running, but they're very big on this idea that it's like, you do most of it in the first day. Uh, and that was intense. Uh, I remember I met with some friends for my birthday afterwards, and they were just like, hey, so what do you want to do now, Daniel? And I just said like, I want a drink. <laughs> I love Pokemon, I really do. But that was a dreadfully long day, you know? 12 hours is intense. Like, you know, so like, I just, I just needed to like, I gotta just disassociate my brain at this point. You know, like... <laughs> uh, so we had a very lovely meal. I uh, went out for some drinks with friends. It was a great time. Absolutely loved it. Um, but yeah, it was like shockingly intense. Uh, it was very cool though. I actually got to meet a lot of the Irish VGC team because they had a squad there. Uh, shout out to Matty, who was like one of the top performers of the entire tournament. Uh, there was a little like rep, like crowd from Ireland, basically. They were all there kind of together just taking part in this thing. Uh, and they were lovely and it was great to meet them. We all got like this like great group photo uh, in front of like the trophies for the event and that. Makes it look like we won them. But uh, we, we got like an Irish flag in front of it too. And it was really, it was just really cool to meet them. Um, that Ireland is a very small country. Uh, especially when it comes to terms of people and like, you know, nerdy folks like us who do these things. Uh, I am sure I'm going to run into that Irish VGC crowd again. I know they have, like, kind of more local tournaments being ran in Dublin and that. And I am very much interested in taking part because I really enjoyed it. The event was really fun. I, I, I had an absolutely wonderful time. Was the MVP the security guard? Yeah, so let me, let, let, let me, uh, let me show you this as well in case people miss this. Because this is, this is hilarious. Hang on. Uh... So, cause, cause I, I want to do like everything at the event, right? Like I want to like make the most of it. Cause it's not every day that you get like a, you know, basically a, po a massive scale Pokemon convention going. Uh, and I want to share, like, this is just hilarious to me. So, I got my picture taken with people uh, dressed up as the Pokemon mascots, right? But for some reason, they took this very wide shot. Like, they didn't try focus it at all. <laughs> just look at this. Is, this just feels like a meme to me. Like, God love him. Like, you know, the guard, the guard, like, you know, he's just chilling. He's just on his break, right? But I don't know why they photographed it like this. Because I didn't even take this picture. This was like a rep that was on staff at the event to take the picture. And he made it like a big point to include the card. Uh, so people have just been like shit posting the shit out of this. Um, and like, like with a bunch of captions and that. Uh, me insisting on getting my picture taken in front of something cool. My dad waiting for me to finish so we can go home. Like, it's hilarious. Like, it's so funny. Yeah, uh, like, there's been loads of the me running Fissure by opponents. Oh, no. I did not run Fissure. Uh. Me spending money on things I don't need. My bank account. Like, I, I love these. There's one that's great. Uh, Mr. Disco posted it where it's like, it's the best ending. I want to see if I can find it. My friends making plans. Me with anxiety. 
There's one where it's like the best ending and it's just like the security guard's just been like shopped over in front of me. It's at the top, is it? Hang on. The best ending, yeah, here it is. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Like, I, I, it, it's been really funny, like, just seeing people caption it. Like, it's such a shit posty picture. I love it. Yeah, there's the best ending, like, the carrot gets in the picture. I don't know why they took it like this. Like, the, I, I, I don't know. It was just really funny, and, like, I got my phone back, like, right after they took the picture, and, like, I just started laughing uncontrollably. This is like, like, why have you taken it like this? <laughs> It, it was really funny, uh, and I appreciate everyone just like, um, you know, captioning that and just shit posting the fuck with it. Oh god, he looks like he doesn't want to be there. I mean, the man's just doing his job, you know. The man's just on his lunch break or something like that. It's the photographer that I have the question for, you know, because they framed this so that it was just like the perfect balance. Like I don't know. Is the photographer. I, I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> the camera person knew what they were doing. They wanted memes. Maybe? Like, maybe that's what it was. And even they thought this would be funny. But, like... Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, it is funny. Uh, so, I, I I have to share that. Like, I, I, I think that's important. Ah, oh, God. Uh, other thing I wanted to mention, and that coincided with a lot of this. Uh, Magic the Gathering. And this bit of the stream is also sponsored, because they actually sponsored me while I was out there. Basically, Wizards of the Coast, during all of this, was like, Hey, do you want to play Magic? And they basically had a pre-release event. Uh, I believe it was the Bad Moon Cafe in London. And it was just like, Hey, do you want to come and play card games with us? Um, which is really chill of them. Like, if folks here might even remember, like, last year for my birthday... They basically threw a party and invited me to it. Uh, like, 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 they're so chill with stuff like this. I basically this time they invited myself and Kiwa out to just like a uh, magic like pre-release night. Uh, basically, we get a box of cards. Uh, we get like, I think it was like a half an hour, 45 minutes. It's like pre-release of their new set, March on the Machines. And you gotta make a deck and then you play against everyone that's there. Uh, and it was really fun, honestly. Uh, like, me and my mates, we do these kind of thing anyway, whenever there's pre-release and that. We tend to get the cards themselves, but this time we were just like, hey, we know you like the game. Do you want to come and play it? Um, which was really chill of them. Um, again, so I just thank you, uh, they're like, like wizards. Um, if anyone is interested in playing the set for themselves, it comes out April 21st. It's a strong boy set. Um, I got, I will show some of this. I got a, dra a lot of dragon boys, and like I kind of just like w like hobbled together a deck. Like I am not good at making decks, but I still did relatively okay. I got like one win, one tie, and one loss. Uh, it was just really fun, honestly. Uh, it was a good time, and like, like they had like a little bar and that in the cafe that we were at, so everyone could just have a drink and that and order food and stuff like that too. Wait, you can tie. Uh, so we. It's a best of three. We only got to play two games and we were one apiece. That's why. Uh, but yeah, like, they've always been super lovely to me. Um, like, wizards and that. And, like, especially for magic stuff. Like, I, I know for a lot of sets, like, they're, they're always, they've always just been like, hey, do you want to play? And they're really lovely to work with. Uh, it's why when stuff like this comes out, like, I'm more than happy to support them because, you know, they've always been really nice. And, you know, magic is a very fun card game, too. Like, pre release events are, are just really good crack. Honestly, like this set in particular has like an absurdly high power level. Um, so like the cards all feel really strong. Basically, you make a bunch of eggs. Uh, you incubate cards and then you kind of unleash them and everything dies. It was lovely to meet you there, Dan. Funny uh, to hear I did exactly as well as you did. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you to everyone that came up and said hey at the event too. You know, like there was a good few folks there. Uh, it even helped me build my deck and that and just running cards by. But it's just a really fun kind of like social night out, um, you know, and they, I, I know like they run these kind of events in a lot of like kind of game shops, like just everywhere uh, whenever those new sets coming. 
Uh, it's good fun if people haven't tried it, like, like for pre-release, if you're interested in magic yourselves. Uh, you meet a lot of new folks, you just have a fun time playing cards. You, know, you get to keep your cards after, after the end of it too, you know, so you get like a few cards early, basically. You get six packs to work with. It's a good time, yeah. Phyrexia was awesome. Yeah, like the last set was like quite malicious, like especially with all the proliferate and like kind of toxic cards. Uh, I know I fought my friend Sean and he had like a awful deck where it's basically he would kill you instantly with toxic in, in like two turns and it was just like almost impossible to stop him. Like that 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 man is too strong. The new set releases on Arena today, so go play. It doesn't release today on Arena. That's good to know. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I need to say your hair is thriving today. Thank you very much. I have a few pictures as well from the magic one. Like, I, I want to share just this for you because <laughs> it's so serious. Like, so uh, shout out to Tay. Tay was the photographer at the event. Uh, they were just like snapping a bunch of pictures while we were all playing games uh, with myself and Kiwo. And like, they have so many where I'm just lost in thought and trying to like consider my cards. I kind of just love them. <laughs> Like this, like, this looks like I'm about to, like, like sign the Declaration of Independence or something. Like, I have to seriously consider what's going on here, you know? Like, I'm, I'm signing, like, a contract or something. <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> New meme template. There's a bunch of great images they got. Um, let me see. Let me, let me slap up another one. Uh, give me, give me one second. There's a lot of them where I'm staring at my cards like that. There's one, I quite like this one, where you can tell, like, I've I've done something wrong. <laughs> like, this is like a face of despair. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to Tay there. Um, they were, like, run the socials for, like, the Bad Moon Cafe, and, they, like, they were... Uh, Acting photographer for the night. It, 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 some funny pictures that kind of came from it. You can tell you fucked something up. Like, you really can. That's the thing. Like, you can tell something's gone wrong. I, I believe that game, I did fuck something up. I believe I lost that game. <laughs> so I made a mess of it. Oh, God. It was genuinely great fun, though. Yeah, I, 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 it was just, like, a cool time. And, like, like, again, I can't recommend it enough. Just, if you're interested in magic... Um, you know, it, even if you're not too experienced with the game, you just want to try it, like, it's a great way to just experience it. Like, I am not that good at magic. I, I never have been. <laughs> I've been playing it for about two years. But whenever a new set comes out, it's like, the pre-releases are always fun because everyone gets a box. Everyone's on a pretty even playing field. Make a deck, have fun, you know? And I, it's a good time. Like, I can't play, like, proper, like, standard or constructed that well. Because I'm just bad at assembling the cards. But stuff like this, it's like, I like I just have a good time with it. I just kind of like sort cards by color. And then pick a few that I want to go for. And I give it a go. Uh, it's great. And like, I really do recommend it if people are interested in the card game. Uh, they, there's events that are always ran. Just pretty much in most hobby shops. Like card shops and that. Where is this event? This one was in the Bad Moon Cafe in London. Uh, but there's a lot of events like it though. And they tend to be in local like card and hobby shops. I know, I know in Dublin it will be Gamers World that would run a lot of the events similar to this, especially for like pre-release and stuff like that. What color do you mainly use? I am like mainly a green boy. Uh, I like big monster that hits hard. Uh, and then I tend to run some blue and maybe some white. The one that I can't do for the life of me is black. I've just never been able to get the, my head around the, the mechanics. And I always lose whenever I run it. I just can't do it. I, I'm really not good with it. Green does everything. Green's amazing. I, I love green. It's just like mana ramp, big monsters. You have control. Like, use just way too much power. It's great. It feels fantastic. I'm talking about magic. I am. I am. The irony of you being green when it was the deck you avoid the most during your initial uh, stream due to the spiders. Yes, it was. But we did use a green deck even in that initial stream before. Because we used like the Teferi and then the one that summons the... I say it was the Rhinos or the Kodos. It's been a while. It was two years ago, the tournament. We did use green-blue though in the end for that. And that was great fun. 
But yeah, if you're interested in March of the Machines, it's out April 21st. Um, there might even still be some pre-release events uh, for depending on your region and that before then. It's really good fun, and uh, like like Magic is a genuinely enjoyable game. Um, again, as someone who's like not that good at card games, like I find it just very fun. It's very accessible. RT game card game when. Ah, uh, yeah, like when we're gonna pull like a like a grotto beast of our own, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd be I don't think I'd be able to devise a card game that well. I like my uh, but I do like my magic. I do like my magic, and they've always been very nice to me. Again, like this is it, it's really the second birthday in a row where magic has been like, hey, we know you like the game. Do you want to play cards? I, I they, they've been really nice. Yo, just pulled a poop Kano Ultra Rare. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. First time I've ever heard Magic be called accessible. The thing is, like, I, w argue, I would always argue that it is, just because with stuff like pre-release, like, you just get a box. Like, you have a more limited set to work with, and those are, like, the formats that I really enjoy. Uh, I know that the Jumpstart sets are really fun and accessible. People haven't tried that. Uh, jumpstart, basically, at uh, nerding out a bit here, right? Uh, uh, this is even outside of the sponsor at this point, all right? But jumpstart, basically, you get two packs, you slap them together, and that's your deck. It's so much fun. Uh, you you do not have to even think in that format as to what you're putting in your deck. You literally pull two random packs. That is your deck. It's really fun. Uh, and like that's actually even my favorite format of the game. Is like the jumpstart sets that they do. Uh, for I think every set now, I think every set has its own jumpstart. It's really good. Just slap it together and just have fun. It sounds terrifying. No, it's good fun. It's fun but chaotic, that's the thing. And like, you can get like random combinations with like jumpstart and that. It, it's just, you just slap them together and it's like make do and everyone's on the same even playing field. So it makes it really fun. You have a pre-release snap though. It's also it is also good fun. You know, it's like you have you get six packs, you get like a little pre-release kind of card as well. So I got the Dragon Boy I showed, and it's like make a deck, have a good time. That one dude who gets a deck with no summonable monsters. I I uh, you'd be hard pressed. You'd have to be like astronomically unlucky. I think. Card games scare me, I can never understand them. Honestly, I don't think magic is that bad. It's like, it takes a round of practice. That's the thing. Once you play it once, you you get it. I'd recommend giving it a go. Um, like, they have a bunch of different, like, even, like, products for that kind of thing. Where it it's like, you know, you can get, like, a starter deck or stuff like that. Commander is a good, fun format, too, if you've got some friends for that. Prefer draft player for the same reason because then we get uh, some bit of coordination. Yeah, I, I prefer drafts and that myself. Uh, I, I like drafts. Well, drafts and things like this. I can't make a constructed deck myself. I'm so bad. I just can't do it. Oh god. I was just scared because I'd be too addicted and have zero nerdy friends. Oh god, love you. But go to like card shops and stuff like that. Like you'll meet new people there. You know, and there, there is definitely a community and a crowd for this kind of game. And, you know, you kind of want to play with a crowd and community. It's very fun. I'd recommend it. Sex one. Yeah, now we're good. But yeah, thank you, the Wizards of the Coast. I was really kind of them. Like, they basically took me out to London, um, you know, to play Magic and that. Like, you know, with my friends and a bunch of... I had a wonderful time. If you're interested in Bachelor of Machines, April 21st, exclamation point MTG. It's in the chat. Go give it a look. It's good fun. And I, I do genuinely want to, like, you know, want to like, support them in that because I know they've always been good to me. And it's a card game I genuinely enjoy. Releases on Arena now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Wizards, for sponsoring my birthday. That's how it feels, though, isn't it? Like, hey! Thanks, wizards. You know, like, that, uh, like, that's no joke how it feels. 
I know when we did uh, New Capenna last year, they literally threw a party in London that was on my birthday. And everyone was in like fancy dress and costume in a bar and we all played magic. And it was like, they go, like, oh, this is like an amazing birthday. I, like, they've done it two years in a row now, which is like incredible. I didn't know, bro. Happy late birthday. Dahi, it's good to see you, man. How you doing? But yeah, like, like, like they're, they're genuinely been very nice to me ever since, like, you know, I met that gang uh, back at, like, it would have been, like, two years ago is when we took it apart in, like, the, the, the tournament. Use the code BIRTHDAY to get 20% off your first deck of magic. That's not a real code. That's not a real code. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the, 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 this set is very much, is very fun, though. Um, and speaking of future sets, Lord of the Rings set this summer. That one looks cool. That one looks cool. They're doing a Lord of the Rings set soon. Genuinely enjoy the game, though. Yeah, so I, I'm happy to support them. Yeah, it's good fun. Use the code RT birthday for 89p off your next order. God damn it, guys. That's not real. A Doctor Who set is coming too. They've been doing loads of like different ones. I know for Brothers War, um, they had a crossover with Transformers, and like I remember because like we had like a bunch of us over. Like Kelly had a deck with like two straight up just Autobots in her deck, and it's like the weirdest, most surreal thing, but it kind of works. They're getting some crazy crossovers, uh, like, like for the card game. It's mad. Ah, oh, Jesus. He's to call me the Magic King back in college. But your braces are gone. I thought you have been gone a while. I, have I... Actually, I don't know if we've met up in person. Since you were last here. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I got them off a while ago, yeah? <laughs> ah, it's good to see you, man. Hope you're well. You didn't do a toot reveal. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, that's pretty much been my birthday, though. I, I, I've i very much had, like, a fun and lovely weekend. Um, I've gotten to play a load of Pokemon. I've gotten to play a load of Magic. I've gotten to see a lot of friends. Um, I, I really can't complain. I've had such a good time. Oh, pop that over there. And thank you, everyone, just for all the birthday wishes in and around that. She'll be back on a regular stream schedule now, like, the next few days. Uh, let me change the stream category now, because we're going to play some Superstar Saga. Um, I have to change the stream title again. What do we want to change the stream title to? I'm going to let you guys suggest it. Hang on. Just beans. <laughs> beans, we need beans. Bean birthday. Birthday beans. Okay. One more beans. Hashtag beans. Okay. Uh, how's this monstrosity? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrendous. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, let's gear on up. We're gonna play some more Superstar Saga tonight. We're gonna go a good old while. Jesus, that's loud! Hang on. Just adjust a few bits on my end. Back. Just arrived wide beans. You must have missed the first stream of this game. Nintendo. Okay, let's see if that sounds okay in a moment. Is that okay? Perfect. 
perfect. Beanslant. Oh, Jesus. What's the European version? What's the difference? I don't actually know. I have no idea. Like, I assume there's some... Some localization change. Okay, when we last left off, um, the bean star was destroyed and we're now stranded in the ocean. The American version makes you pay to get healthcare. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's like fundamentally the same game otherwise, but for some reason, we wanted to make like a weird social commentary. I wish I were sun at dusk. Haha, <laughs> kidding. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get exploring now. What was the bean count on last time? People are saying 98, maybe. Bean counter is back. Wait, there's a bean. Hang on. Get that immediately. These guys are just jamming out and you can just kill them for like no reason. I think there's like, yeah, you, we have to pick up something in this temple here. Okay, go little Mario. Come on. Just gonna destroy this precious artifact. Mario's okay now. Welcome, yes, welcome, welcome to the Fire Palace. Oh, are you gonna talk about the Mario movie as well? Oh, Jesus, we didn't even touch on that, did we? We didn't even touch on that. Do I... Oh, we gotta get that out of our systems. We have to get that out of our systems. Okay. Alright, hang on. Uh, let me... Okay, I'm gonna pop. So people want to mute. If you haven't seen it and you want to skip this bit. That's on screen. I will take that off screen when we're done, okay? You want to dip out a minute. You want to dip out like a minute or two. If you if you want to if you want to just like go on spot, okay? I'll tell you when to unmute. Okay. 3 2 1 They put Bowser in a jar. I don't think they realize what they did. <laughs> I don't think they realize what they've done. Um, we, uh, our gang, like, was all watching the movie, like, almost died when that happened. <laughs> uh, but beyond that, uh, movie, movie was actually very fun, um, it was just really well animated and that. It, it, it moved very fast. I think, like, probably the most lackluster part was just Chris Pratt was just kind of okay. I don't think he, I don't think he was that great. I don't think he was that bad either. He just kind of existed. Uh, Charlie Day, amazing as Luigi. Uh, Jack Black as Bowser. It's, like, the best, best thing in the movie by far. Oh, my God. The whole song with Peaches and, like, how obs crazy obsessed he is. Uh, that, that, that was so good. Oh, that was so well done. Like, he's just like a crazy stalker. <laughs> the Luma is the reincarnation of Dread. I did appreciate the little Luma that's making everyone lose their minds. Yeah, when they're all in the prison. Um, I, I think the biggest critique I had is like, just the kind of pop culture songs. That was like an insert. Because apparently, right, because, like, first of all, they had I Need a Hero. And let me tell you, if you do an I Need a Hero, you got to be on par with Shrek 2 level of I Need a Hero. Okay, otherwise, like, do not bother. Do not bother. There is literally no point. You will be compared to that if you're an animated film. Like, you you just can't beat it. So you, you just don't do it. Don't do it. Shrek, like, you can't beat Shrek 2. Uh, it, like, it was tolerable, but, like, eh. They probably could have done, like, an original sequence or something. And, like, apparently... So, uh, this is something I found out afterwards. On the Spotify soundtrack for the movie, they had an entire sequence 
uh, for like Donkey Kong Country that they simply cut for Take On Me. Which is like, what the fuck? Like, why? Why, why would they do that? Like, it's so pointless. They had- yeah, So the whole sequence in the film, when they play Take- t t Take On Me, that has original score. The themes are like Donkey Kong Country. It's a whole sequence, and they simply cut it. And the only reason I can think of it is that there was some guy in a business suit thinking this is too niche. And it's like, uh, we need like a pop culture song here. Like, th that's insane. Also, you gotta credit Grant Kirkhope if you put in the DK rap in the movie. They did not do that for God knows what reason. Um, that's just a bit shit. I hope that's something they correct, uh, like, come, like, the DVD or something, or, like, later releases. Put him in the credits, he wrote it, you know, like, it's, that's, you gotta do that. People know who made the DK rap. So, like, those are probably the biggest critiques. Like, the rest of the soundtrack outside of, like, that is actually really well done, because there's, like, so many, like, references and nods to other songs. My favorite bit was, even in the credits, there's a bit where Gusty Garden Galaxy plays. Which is the best Mario song ever written, like, uh, composed, made. N nothing compares with it. Um. But yeah, it was surprise It was surprisingly good. Uh, there will absolutely be a sequel. It it's made too much money for there not to be at this point. Um, I hope we get a sequel where it's like a Mario Galaxy plotline or something like that. It could be fun. Uh, I, I think it's inevitable. We, we More Luigi. Get a Luigi's Mansion movie. Just Charlie Day freaking out. That'd be great. I'd love that. There's a lot they could do. Like, they, they could take it pretty much anyway. This song is making me go insane. Sorry. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Very good film. I'm very glad I saw it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I know before talking about it, we said it's either going to be a train wreck or surprisingly good, it is surprisingly good. Weakest part is just weird music choices and Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt is just Chris Pratt, like, he just kind of exists. Similar note, Seth Rogen just exists as Seth Rogen. I, I feel like Seth Rogen can't play any char character that isn't just Seth Rogen. But it weirdly kind of works. He's just Seth Rogen, but okay, this kind of weirdly fits. Uh, Chris, Chris Pratt was just Chris Pratt. I was just like, I would have preferred Charles Martinet. I just would have. But, it is what it is. Okay, alright, hang on, okay. Let's get through this sequence before we lose our minds. No more spoilers, please. Use a safe. Use a safe. You can unmute now, safely. Okay. Let's keep going. Welcome to the fire palace. I've been waiting for you. I've waited many long years. Smol smoldering like embers. I was also waiting as you were just given like a full like 15 minute review of like some movie you were in recently. I don't know what's going on there. For you I have kept waiting and waited and waited. In fact the last time anyone came through here was 3,000 years ago. Oh waiting just burns me up but enough about that. So why have you come? Uh, you are uh, this place. Uh, this place of power. It is, uh, this place is... Now, uh, wait a second. Just what kind of place was this, anyway? What was I was planning on doing? Am I allowed in here? Now, wait just a minute. Where am I? Who am I? Guess I have no guess. For 3,000 years takes a toll. Everything just seems to slip one's mind. Ar diddy ar. How humorous. So I guess you can do what you want. I won't stop you. He kind of just gives up after that. Makes an attempt at a joke. Meanwhile, Luigi is just like... Luigi's just chilling out here. It's like, Jesus, I wonder if he's coming back. He's been gone a while. <laughs> Let's touch the orb. Mario burnt his hand. Oh 
now has powers. Oh wait, I just remembered. This is the famed fire palace where we teach the ways of the blister and hand power. This is all coming back. I've been waiting for you. You want the hand power, right? You want to master the fiery hand power known as the fire branch, do you not? You do, right? Right? You do not need to tell me. Your post says it all. I'll instruct you in the arts of the fire branch. Let's press the R for hand power. You know, it's third degree burns. You can inflict it on people, too. Hold the A button until you have enough charge. And release the button. Only then shall you shoot for it a mighty blast of flame. Perhaps you should try it once. See, you got a fire on now. I'm gonna touch my hot stove to try that theory. <laughs> yeah, let us know how you get on. You know, I think Luigi gets like electricity next. If you just want to put like a fork in the plug socket, you know, let us know what happens. Please do not do that. Just do this action near something flammable, you should have no problems. If this skill will open new paths to your life, wouldn't you agree? So farewell. Disclaimer, do not touch magical balls of fire. I am me. I think you can aggro these guys by setting them on fire. Ebity. Yeah, they, they, they start getting a bit weird if you do this. Well, since we had the dance music. Just gonna enjoy it again. They don't really do anything when they fight you. But we can just kill them. You get no reward for it either. I think I am myself reborn. He's a murderer. Wait, how do I get him out of here? Oh, there's a side door, okay. You can set that on fire now. You can sometimes get his skin? That does not sound right. <laughs> what do you mean you can get his skin sometimes? <laughs> you set Luigi on fire, you absolutely can. He just gets mad at you. Okay, we're free from the music. Free to sigh of relief, gang. You can hand power them in the battle, I think, as well. I can't get the blue one with the fire around. I think it's only the red ones. Wait, this radio is on the side. Old tape machine is here where you play it. It's been a week since our Oho Civilization Research Expedition reached this island. We've named the mysterious creatures native to this island the oho G. It's strange. It's the same spoken vocabulary that we do, but none comprehend what they mean. You're in Ohio. <laughs> the lost civilization. Gotta go in here next. Be free of this music soon, don't worry. Why Nintendo Switch Online not an emulator? Ah, I feel like this this form just works. I feel like it works fine. I think it's grand. Uh, to you who have wandered into Thunder Palace, these are the train grants the chosen few. No, not how you found your way here, nor how you managed to enter this pl place. No business with you. You have none with me. Depart post haste. He actually gets light and down with again. No, I wasn't. I remember this. So Luigi just electrocutes himself here. And he gets superpowers too. This song should be your stream intro. I think people will lose their minds. <laughs> Crackety. There's a touch of the great Thunderhand Spark. Impertinent fool. Yet you have touched the great Thunderhand Spark, but still stand before me, so. 
Helps you have the qualities needed to master the uh, galvanic thunderhand technique. Very well, should instructing the art of thunderhand. It's, it's basically the same. Luigi's got jazz hands going Thunder. on. The way he says it is great. Thunder! Let's give it a go. Thunder! 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 And you have electricity. Make this song your donation notification. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to assign it to anything. <laughs> Why is he uses power when an apparent conductor of electricity is nearby? You've done it. It has done you. Released me. There he goes. Uh, let's get this guy too. See if he's any different. Go, Ouija. Go, Ouija. Use the hand on him. Thunder me, thunder me now. Oh, it's, he's reacting differently. Ah, uh, I am a me. This is the first time. Oh, he's dead. Don't worry, I only pretend to be dead. Haha, <laughs> funny. They're kinda weird here, aren't they? You just got pranked. Thunder. Yeah, let's go over here. Luigi has electrocuted a man to death. Hi. Charlie Day, no! One second, guys. Go right back. Sorry guys, I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, I heard, I heard like a glass fall over in the other room, but like it's, it's just me here. It was kind of spooky. Just some dishes in the sink though. It's just like one of them just slipped a little bit. It's fine. Okay, we're all good. No, I'm not dead. Our new powers. And light these up. And we can escape the island now. It's Ouija, he's coming to get you. <laughs> Hop down here. Welcome to perhaps the worst level in the game. <laughs> uh, the underwater segments are not particularly fun. <laughs> Much like the water level in any game. It's just not a good time. For novice divers, you can swim by doing solo jumps in the ocean floor. Put the buttons quickly to float higher and higher in the water. Two people swim together, they can move much faster through the water. To kind of just swim through it. You play the remakes before, if so, which do you prefer aesthetically? This. The one I prefer. There's gonna be people trying to kill us here. I think we're just gonna kind of go though. We're already we're already quite strong that we can afford to skip a few enemies. Uh, th th this zone just does kind of suck. Zone there. Uh, 
Thunder. Thunder around here. Water in the fire, why? Ele the, the, well, fire in the water, why? Electricity in the water, too. There's no imminent danger to Luigi here. We're just going for it. There are beans down here, unfortunately, as well. Keep an eye out. Hopefully get through okay. I still need to get the advanced technique. I haven't got it yet. I got it for Chopper Bros. Surprised I didn't get it for knockback yet. Also, you can't swim any higher than a default jump for some reason. You have to do a high jump to get to those higher segments. Don't ask why. <laughs> Can I use fire hand on him? He just stands still in front of him a while. It seems to be okay. Water pressure just does that to you sometimes. Gotta be careful, man. Oh, yeah, and it does that too. So pop after the battle, it'll pop you out, and then you might just uh, fall into the spikes. So you have to navigate the area again. <laughs> not, not the best zone. Not the best zone. It's quite annoying. Remember the fire. We're just gonna get through here. Like, the arc after this is where the game gets really good. This one. I use jump attacks in the water. Don't ask questions that you're not prepared for the answer for, right? You gotta be careful there. You beaten the game yet? This, this is all the post-game sequence. Oh no. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know if I need to level up as Mario for the time being. I didn't get any new uh, techniques for the hands yet. I think I do later. <laughs> Damn it, Luigi. Live and hope for the new technique. Come on. Come on, Luigi. <laughs> He's struggling a bit. He didn't want to do it. Okay, you know, that's okay though. Let's just let's just get back out of here. Just also randomly plummet them to their death if you so choose. Meanwhile, near the border. Bowser is incredibly hurt. Oh, great Cacoletta. Will this guy do? Any, anyone will do now. Hurry, quickly.
Jack Black has been taken. <laughs> Meanwhile, everything's like fine and dandy. <laughs> I always love how you cut from that scene, they're just like, upbeat, yeah! Having a grand old time. Search high and low for you two, I fear that you'd meet a terrible fate. Not quite. Exactly what happened. True, the beans start to split into four pieces. They've scattered. It's a sad. It is sad, really. But you say you'll help me search for the bean star pieces. Of course, I would be most appreciative. Actually, I'd like you two to go to Bean Bean Airport. See, Princess Peach is blessing our fair land with her presence. Wow. Dignitary of Princess Peach's a statue visiting our kingdom is a very serious affair. That is why I would like you two in attendance to greet her royal loveliness. As such, you must head for Bean Bean Airport immediately. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, by the by, Bean Bean Airport is set of Bean Bean Castle. Head there myself immediately, so see you there. No flashbangs that time. Yeah, he was actually... He, he went easy on us that time around, didn't he? We didn't just immediately die. I think there's something new over here I can get now. One of these areas. Oh, good lord. Because oh, no. I have electric powers now, I can I can go to new areas. Now oh, let's immediately kill him. Backtracking baby. There's a lot just to explore, especially whenever you get the new power up in this game. A lot of little side areas. Ah, uh, but there is one right up here I think we can do. I think this was it. Yeah, this was this was the one with the water. So if you jump on him, he spits it all out. You hammer at Mario, he spits out like a little bit of it. You tickle him. Kind of fountains it out like that, so it's a bit different. Uh, Perry, thank you for the raid. How's it going, folks? Hi, RT. What's your opinion on free will? I don't know. I don't know if you should be asking that. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> good to have you here. Hope you had a good stream. Okay, guys, don't be weird for like five minutes, okay? I want to scare him away. <laughs> Mario inflation? <laughs> no, guys. That's the opposite. <laughs> Beans. Are all the flowers? I think there's a prize. There's a bean. Not a bean. I think there's something on some of these, isn't there? Is there an invisible block? Bean? Surely there's got to be a bean. First game I beat. Congratulations, excellent job making it all the way here. Let me commemorate the moment with this. Take it, please. A red pepper and a green pepper. Oh, what do these do again? I vaguely remember them. Boost power and weight, boost defense and get lighter. They're like temporary buffs in battle. And we can give Luigi speed as well. Drink that coffee. You get anything for planting them all? 
No, there's nothing, nothing for planting them all. Got some peppers. Is it the super rock? The super rock side, the, the route is impassable. Super hammers if you hope to get through this way. I think I can go get the super hammers now. I think it's over here. You can just do this now for some reason. Hee hee valley is where I go to be silly and goofy. <laughs> oh, bless you. Dude! He just tossed him. Cronus, thank you for the thousand bits. Ah, uh, Mario and Luigi, I know you're busy saving the world, but could you take a moment to volunteer at airport security? <laughs> Basically. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who's been giving bits and subs this stream, too. I, I know I was quite bad for it during the start of the stream. Very kind of you. We had a hype train then, too. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. It's been very kind of you. What are the beans for, anyway? Glory. There for glory. Now, like, these guys are down here now. Whoa, I was wondering where they might not be. It's the good old Mario Bros. What have you guys been doing? We moved out this way recently. Your place is bigger than the old one, which makes it easier for us to do our work, which is good. Yeah, those hammers we made for you striking mighty blows. Well, we forge them and power them up for you. What do you say? It's free. Yep, so the hammer now does more damage, too. Once you get this. Free little upgrade. Alright, they're ready. They're even more powerful than ever. Pow, pow. They ought to be able to break rocks you couldn't break before. Go ahead and test out the strength of these bad boys. Back here again after a while. Never know, we might be able to forge your hammers again to make them even stronger. Crucially, unrelated to the hammers, we can break, the, we can break this new rock now. There's a gambling minigame here. Just your luck for a mere 200 coins. Are you guys ready to show me the muddiest swing you got? Break any one of, you, of these that you'd like with your hammer. If you're lucky, you'll get yourself one incredible treasure. 2,000 coins. Oh, we already won. But you can also rewind. <laughs> I decide when I profit. Game is having none of it. It's not under any of them. It's auto determined. It must be, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's when you hand over the coins, it decides it. It's actually rigged. Okay, well we got we got what we were looking for anyway. Secret scroll one. You can now use a new bros attack in battle. This one is awful. It's so hard to get this one right. This is swing bros technique, but it's a secret secret bros attack. We could do a little more gambling. After all, why not? Why not get a little more capital? I, I, I can make my money back, hang on. Oh 
Only 200 coins. Okay, I'm not gonna make my money back. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not gonna make it back. You can't break this caliber of rock just yet. There is another gambling minigame in there too, though. We will get it later. If I just made one more roll... Uh, no, I gotta go. So we went from 2,200 coins... <laughs> down to 1,900, just like that. Oh dear. Make it that a roll, we're gonna have to send you the rehab. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Go up here? There might be other areas I can access now, too. You unlock quite a bit when you get the hand techniques. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Guys, just zoom. I think I can go to the Yoshi Theater. I think a way over. I'm in there already, I think. I'm just trying to remember where, um... There, there's one. Go up here. Block fortune. Today's lucky block is the simu block. Get the two simu blocks up ahead simultaneously, your luck will improve. Okay, it's this one. I remember this puzzle. You have to separate Mario and Luigi. So that you can hit them both. Improved luck for Gamba. <laughs> you know it. We're doing this because we're trying to get more overpowered items more than anything. Oh, that might just be one. <laughs> Wool trousers. HP auto gain and defense goes up dramatically. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good, yep. Can't complain. HP auto gain. Luigi the tank, he's so bulky now. So Luigi will just heal automatically each turn now. Oh no, I can't knock him down yet, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I must still need more of the hand power-ups. Can't quite get what I want yet. I can go, um, to the back of coffee. I also have the new hammers now, so I might be able to break a few new bits with that. Okay, let's, uh, let's get coffee. Okay, now question for chat. Do we remember which blends we got before? Like, for instance, did we get... We get the the ones on this menu. There's a chocolatino and a tea he espresso. I can just rewind, actually. Yeah, I can, I can just rewind. If I make one, I've already made. Tea he espresso, ready to go. Oh, that noise, not ghost again. 
This is a new one. No, no, this time I've chosen a slightly different way of making my entrance. Well, just showing up the same way over and over, it gets old after a while. Besides, don't video conferences feel futuristic and cool? Gad was ahead of his time. I developed Zoom. You're not going to try a new drink this time, boss. Oh, don't worry. Send a representative to taste it in my seat. Instead, he should be arriving soon. Representative? Don't worry, he's a harmless, friendly little ghost. Please allow him to taste that new drink. Spirits of the damned are here to try your new Starbucks. Oh mercy, it seems to have been just heavenly. It's that sample, and here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. You got the great force. So again, this is cut content. It was cut content here where Toon Link was supposed to give this to you, which probably made more sense. Next time I'll come in person. Okay. Uh, we can see what that does. Do I have enough beans for anything else? No, I need 25 of at least of one. Great force. Double the damage you give and take. Oh, that's... That's very fun. That's very fun. We're gonna slap that on Luigi. Okay, double the money, double damage. I think Mario actually moves first, so it makes more sense for him to have that. Great force. Double up coin. Yeah, we're ready, we're ready to take on the world now. Last cat and Mario now. <laughs> like tanky Luigi. I don't think there's any like HP auto gain, I'm not gonna have better. I get defense up with those, so like it's already I already get that defense there. I don't think I need to change anything. Cheap and durable but not cool pants. Like wow, nice. Uh, I can sell some. I don't feel like I need. School slacks, get rid of them. Bean trousers, blue jeans. The coffee. It's cheap and not durable. <laughs> A wombo combo. Today's society. <laughs> Why you have defense when you can one shot? You don't need defense if everything's dead already. That's the thing. Uh, there's one more area I think I can go to, and that's in the mountain village. There were definitely some rocks over there that I remember. Is there not a better checkpoint for me to get here? The rocks? Is that really the best one? This, this, this one's not particularly good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to just walk a while. All right. One. I don't think one is much better. We gotta go all the way through the fields if we go to one. I just want to zoom back because I think there's one of those little Monty Mole guys uh, that I can get that has a prize for me. I think I might be able to hammer something new over here too. I've never seen this game in my life. It's a wonderful game. Can't get in yet. It's just me or the pupils super dilated from the coffee. I mean. 
They do have quite dramatic pupils, don't they? They look spooked. It's a bean here. Cold, dead eyes. Not the mine cards, I need to go back further. Uh, nothing over here, there's no beans. You gonna play the other games in the series? I don't know yet. I'm just playing this one for now. Okay. It's, it was like a cave under one of the bridges, that's what I'm looking for. RT is the only person who hated the thousand year door. I I even said when I was talking about that that I hope people don't take it out of context and say that I hate it. <laughs> and here we are. Nah, I just I just got bored. I, I, I played a good bit of it, it just wasn't for me. That's all, that, that that's fine though. Like that happens sometimes. Some games just don't hold my attention in the moment, or it's not what I'm looking for in the moment. And that's okay. I'm sure it's a good time, but it wasn't for me when I played it. Uh, is it a Pryla? Pryla, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. He hates it. This is literally not what I'm saying, though. <laughs> it's the worst game ever made. A thousand year door, more like a thousand year boar. Like, nah, nah, it's just like... I gave it a go. I played it for like 12 hours, which is a pretty reasonable go. And then it was like, ah, I think I've played enough for now. All oh, the stuff over there. Yeah, I gotta go back. Stuff littered everywhere. Well, if there was a bean in a thousand year door, that ah, it would have been a significantly improved game. Like, absolutely. The no brainer there. What's the point of this? Oh, this is a shortcut, I think, from where the statue is. You can just loop around it this way. That's all it's there. I was hoping for a Mani Mall. We're gonna have to loop back around again now. You hate all RPGs. Yes, that's clearly what I'm saying. <laughs> RPGs in general. The, like, literally the worst games ever made. Where's this fucking bean? <laughs> he hates video games. Where's the fucking bean? <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Thanks, gang. Anyway. <laughs> He hates beans! Wait, this is the wrong mountain. So I can now just do double damage. Yeah, 82, that seems fair. 
Jeez, Luigi's doing almost as much, though, and Luigi doesn't even have the ability. It's kind of scary. Incredibly powerful. KRT, can you play every game in existence? It would be kinda epic. Literally every game. Oh wait, do I have to do the minecart again? I think I do. It's the only way back. Okay, well, we'll just let Luigi go into the darkness this time, and hopefully it takes us there. Let's see if he survives. <laughs> Miss. This is the first gem. Uh, you did your best, boys. Christ. Are there any games you want to play on stream but there won't be good content? Um, no, generally, there are games I like that I just don't think would be good to stream in general. Like, like, because I just kind of enjoy them in my off time. Like, I love Octopath. Probably wouldn't stream it. Still need to play too. That is not a bean fruit, by the way. We're just going to pick that up now. So you hate it then. <laughs> Everyone's so extreme on that. Like, slight negative critique. Literally the worst thing I've ever made. <laughs> Not even a critique there. It's just that like, I, I want to enjoy it in my off time. It was so good, really recommend. Yeah, like you were saying, Peach. Like, I really want to play it. Like, from what I've heard, it fixes the biggest critique of the first one, whereas, like, the characters interact more now. That's exactly what I wanted. Give a game a 9 out of 10. He hates it. <laughs> oh, Llama, Jesus. You didn't have to do that. Thank you very much, Llama. How's it going? Very kind of you. Good to see you, man. Thanks for dinner, babe. <laughs> Hey, no problem. Here, let me let me slap a VIP on you so I can spot you. Lama is a very sound lad. Worst game in this goddamn earth. Like, it's such an extreme reaction, is it? But that's how some people take like any critique online. There was, I can't remember where it was, right? But there was like a comment on one of the Persona 5 videos where it was like this, I think it was like the Akumara Palace, which is like 80 hours into the game. There was a YouTube comment where it was like, why is he still playing this game that he hates so much? It's like 80 hours into it. It's like, why is he playing it? It's like, dude, like, <laughs> maybe it's because I don't hate it. Like, <laughs> masochist streamer, like, he just hates himself. Uh, like, th those comments just crack me up. Like, I, I don't get it. Oh, where's the fucking airport as well? Sorry, I'm trying to find it. over there. Okay, go left. Like, those comments to me are, like, always hilarious. I've gotten them in, like, quite a few. There was someone, like, even, like, Dark Souls 2 who was like, why is he still playing it? <laughs> like... It's like, I'm having, like, a great time. 
I don't get it. I don't know where the airport is, you must hate the game. Undertale, Cobbett, probably were fought. Oh, I... <laughs> there, there, were, there were a fair few comments there, all right. <laughs> Let me tell you. I actually quite enjoyed my time with Undertale. Let the record show. Like, it, it's a fun game. It has some problems. Like every game, I had a good time. He loves it. Likes a game impossible. Undertale is his all-time favorite. It's just like so. Like, I think it's just internet discourse in general. Like, I think it's just an internet discourse thing. Because I'm quite, I'm quite a critical person, and I know that. I, I even critique things that I like a lot. Like Fable is one of my favorite game series of all time, right? Fable has a shitload of problems, and I'll be the first to tell you about them. You know. Same with Pokemon. Can't believe he hates Fable. <laughs> Have you not been crucifixed? Crucifix on Twitter. Link Harry and Princess Peach seems to be late. Oh. Why Princess Peach has come to the Bean Bean Kingdom. He'd been air is busy with repairs at the moment, none of our planes are flying. Rumors around town suggest a huge VIP celebrity has come from the Mushroom Kingdom. Gonna get photographic evidence and sell it for big bucks to the town know it all. Great plan, huh? Get Lady Lima's calling for you. Please go to the runway up ahead. Yeah, just walk on out. I'm sure, this is safe. This is Mario and Luigi. Queen Bean was most pleased by your efforts at the Hooniversity. By the way, there's been a slight hiccup in our plans to welcome Princess Peach. The nasty piranha plants have dug their roots into this runway. Airplane can't land. <laughs> Luigi's just going for it. <laughs> you want to know why repairs haven't been made? But with the Cacletta incident, it didn't seem to be a priority. But enough about that, you must do something about these disgusting piranha plants. For the sake of the princess, you can't refuse, can you? Well, then show me that Mario Bros. work ethic I've heard so much about. Kingdom it would be in jeopardy without us. We have to do everything. Bean. There's quite a few beans here. Oh, there's quite a few beans. It's a good day. What a lovely day! Okay, so how you get these guys? Need Fat Mario. You get him with water. And then Luigi just electrocutes them. Of course, upsets the egg. Happy birthday, Dan. Thank you very much. Can't you fight them too? You can fight them, but they actually just respawn if you fight them. Uh, so you actually have to do it this way if you want to keep them dead. Or they just come back forever. Give me the beans. There's actually so many here. We might, we might have enough for the chuckle blend at this rate. I'd be surprised if we didn't. There's one more here. Luigi can just casually electrocute stuff. He's all powerful. He doesn't even blink when he does it. He already got chuckle blend. Did I get bolt chuckle blends? There's like one with 25 and then one with like the 15 and 10. We'll check though, we'll check. We're, we're gonna get them all. Like, you, you get some cool unlocks for it. Well, 
Luigi's a menace. He is. He's objectively the best character in the Mario universe. But, you know, we love him, really. I'm having a birthday party for you at the Burger King at O'Connell Street, man. <laughs> Uh, th thank you. I, what, 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 what does that entail? Are you just, are you just ordering food, or? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I understand. Honorary burger, baby. Every food is RT themed somehow. Listen, I want die burger. It's just like twelve beef patties. No sauce, no bun. It'll, it, it'll just kill you. The botanist, I must say, I'm quite interested in these piranha plants. Those must they be. Water can be easily extracted from the petals of the piranha plant. Did you know that? It's true. I said the height below ground is, is, is to not be shocked by lightning when wet. Like, wink. Big little clue. Gamer equivalent of a K-pop idol birthday cafe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, this 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 guy is just aggressive now. Casual boss fight. I should have healed. Okay, so you got swing bros now. This one is horrific. So you just hold the button and release, and it does, like, no damage. I might have to kill the flowers first. No, I did 152. Jesus Christ. Why is that so strong? <laughs> oh my god. The fight's almost over. Do you want to just end the fight? I think I can do it. Hang on. <laughs> I didn't even land that correctly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just dead. Give, give us some more stash. Give, uh, give us some more stash. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Luigi defeats it by sitting on it. Well done, Mario Bros. Now we can welcome Princess Peach to our fair kingdom. Hours. Jesus Christ. Beaming Castle, Court Gardens. There's totally some beans in this room still, I'm convinced of it. I wish everyone, Princess Peach, representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greetings. Mario, Luigi, thank you so much for all you've done. I'm so relieved that the two of you are safe. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, terribly amusing. Yes, come now. Don't be so startled. See, I must tell you, Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. You can't glad it was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle and warned the princess. Giant plot twist. Hiding behind the curtain. 
this is the Princess Peach whose voice was stolen. That is why the beats are reacting so strangely to her voice. Birdo's just chill. As you can see, every card in her hand truly was better than theirs. On the other side, uh, there's no doorway behind that bush. That's just a bush. Uh, everyone's just hiding behind it for some reason, but anyway. Mario, Luigi, I'm sorry to have caused you so much such trouble. From the pair, you came rushing to the castle. I intended to tell you the truth immediately, but Bowser beat you there. I lost my chance to spill the beans, so to speak. Beat a Cacletta, nonetheless. That is something to be congratulated for. Spill the beans? Sorry. By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the bean star. Apparently broken into four pieces, which seem to be lost. So I'm off yet again. I must sally forth to look for the beast of the bean star. You can relax here and enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom with Fair Princess Peach. Ugh! Bye bye. My eyes. My eyes. Okay, let's save it here. Uh, I can't remember where I'm supposed to go next. I think I need to talk to Peach. I think she's somewhere in the castle. You've been bean banged. <laughs> that does not sound right. <laughs> yeah, they're just up here. Little oh, Master Mario, spot on time and Hey, Luigi. I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there is a mushroom town in Bean Bean Kingdom called Little Fungi Town. Do you know of it? It's a town full of toads who have immigrated to this land. You've come all the way to this land. I wish to pay an official royal visit to Little Fungi Town. Acceptable in theory, but to reach Little Fungi Town, you must go north through Teehee Valley. The Valley is filled with vile monsters. It would be a little, no, very dangerous for Princess Peach. Royal representative of the senior toads, I must vigorously oppose this idea. That's a true unknown lands filled with monsters absurdly absolutely absurd why the very idea is actually gonna die. And yet, I suppose that Mario and Luigi escorted you. Mario Luigi, since we seem to have come to a consensus. You should take me to Little Fungi Town. Oh, no. <laughs> Luigi's just like no. <laughs> Who let do toads were it? If I have any say in the matter, just be very, 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 very careful. I must begin preparations immediately. I and Luigi should meet up us up north at the entrance to Teehee Valley. With that, please allow me to excuse myself, Queen Bean. Luigi's just dead at this point. The princess is not only beautiful, but wise and courageous as well. I'm severely impressed. I and Luigi, we have entrusted Princess Peach to safekeeping from two of you. Leave the castle town and head northeast to reach Teehee Valley. Ronis, thank you for the thousand bits. It might just be me, but Birdo as Peach plot twist has a surprising amount of Von Karman the elevator energy to it. Ah! I, I, I wouldn't go that far. Birdo's not exactly the mastermind behind everything, you know? Not the same. Luigi has risen once again. <laughs> Birdo has fooled you. I, I, I don't know. Oh. Hey, Loki. How you doing? Good to see you. Jesus, Mario hits for so much damage. I mean, they both kind of do. We keep getting a lot of lucky hits. They're absurdly strong. Fire. Master Mario, Master Luigi. Sorry right, to keep you waiting. Uh, Master Mario, Master Luigi, please be sure to take the utmost, most diligent, sincerest care of Princess Peach. Be back before you know it. Hey, okay, Mario and Luigi, let's go to Little Fungi Town. She just sets off. 
Let's be careful. Why do I got to get the feel and I forgot to say something vital? Oh, that's right. Mr. Mario, wait. Oh, now I've done it. <laughs> She's immediately kidnapped. <laughs> Master Barry, I forgot to tell you one vital t tidbit, and now just look what has happened. Get the princess out of your sight like we just did, she'll get kidnapped instantly. I beg of you, rescue her and take care to ensure that you do not leave her side again. If princess gets too far ahead of you, please stop her and talk some sense into her. If asked her to return by the same path she took, if you should speak to her. With that good luck, I'm counting on you. Just explore the desert over here. There might be a bean or two, you know? Sure, Peach will be all right. You missed a bean, all right, guys. I'll get the bean. I'll get the bean. We gotta go back that way anyway. What's over there? There's a little fungi town. You can see that on the map. And here's the, here's the ship. Come back to this in a bit. Did I ever walk down this way? Fire, let's go. I don't think I did. I think I might be able to open a new pad here. Luigi can just go off here on his own. Dad hates beans. Literally one million beans have been lost. Uh, I mean, Luigi can just exist over here, I guess. Doesn't really help me with anything. Get behind this guy. He doesn't pay any mind. Solo the game. Can you hammer Luigi into the bridge? I don't think so, no. I think there is a bean fruit up there, but I don't think you can get it yet. Uh, Kilroy, thank you for 300 bits. Hey, Tia, I met you at the London Internationals this weekend. I just want to say, uh, it made me and my friends day to speak to you. Oh, no problem at all. Hope you had a lovely time. Thank you very much. It was fun just kind of meeting people. Like, like, that, like even during the tournament, I like, think everyone just wished me good luck. You know, that was very sweet. There was a lot of folks cheering me on. Uh, I, I had an amazing time. I really enjoyed myself. Absolutely gonna come back. In here. I think there's gonna be something there. I go that way. Okay, we should probably go rescue Peach at some point. It has been lost to the world. Hang on. Down into the ruins. She's been gone a while. We're, we're safe. So we just need to make sure we aggro every enemy. Oh. Oh god, the double damage really hurts. Oh no! Uh, yeah, we, we gotta be careful there. He really is a glass cannon. But look how much damage we can do. That actually wasn't that great. <laughs> God damn Mario. Mario. 
You gotta carry Mario if you get hit. So they don't like desecrate his corpse. Instant death. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and get some more HP out of him. Super mushroom. We're gonna need more defense for him, especially if we're using this. I don't know how you're supposed to tell which one you're at. I just want to do Chopper Rose. Uh, Swing Rose is kind of awful. It's one, it's, I think it's the worst Bros power-up in the game. Maybe, like, only second to bounce Bros. I don't think I've ever got the advanced technique for it because I just kind of refuse to use it. Advance it, you can use it to steal items. Is that what it does? Speech. Uh, why'd she run back? Why, why'd you do that? Just, just turn the opposite direction. Let's just go grab her again. Got kidnapped again. Is she safe now? There shouldn't be anything here that interrupts her. Let's go for your stroll through the desert. Escort quest, go. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, don't. don't. Just trying to ask how she's doing. Just saying hello. So bad now, and let's move on. Okay, we just have to aggro every enemy. Leon, help! <laughs> Got the same energy. <laughs> okay, we can just use this in battle now, too, if we want. Mario 4. <laughs> Absolutely cursed. Yeah, we have to get a lot of fights in this zone just because you have to actually clear it out. I can try and get advanced swing bros. I did a lot more damage there. Why did I do so little before? Hundred and sixty of bros technique. Okay, I'll, I'll try and get swing bros advanced then. Okay, she's just running on. There was a side path there, but we we don't have time to check it out. Oh no 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 no! no I. All right, see you later. Just, uh, cl clear up the desert here. Try holding the swing until Mario and Luigi become a blur. Try it. Oh, jeez! <laughs> it will land it better. It's gonna be hard to get right. Doesn't work on these guys too, it counts as jumping on them. I don't think I've ever used this one right. Maybe that's why I just decided it sucks. <laughs> this kid me was just like terrible at it. Barrel. 
He hates it. <laughs> Local man despises every mechanic in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Literally the worst game ever made. What do you think is the worst game ever made? Uh, in terms of storytelling and direction and ambition, uh, and lack thereof, Minecraft story mode is- There wasn't even anyone there! Can't be off screen. You just grind these guys forever if you just want to keep fighting them. Okay, yeah, she needs to stay on screen. If she gets in trouble. You need to time the gate. Quarry for almost killing your YouTube channel. Yeah, it's pretty bad too. Pretty good. Uh, I need to wait for her to slowly walk this way. Clear up all the enemies. So I, d I don't think I can do swing bros on this. I think that would just hurt Luigi. We have like more than enough power though just to kill everything. 142. So much power. Probably the most I've ever broken in this game. In terms of power level. It's swing bros. Four oh four damage. Jesus Christ. Okay, that may not be the worst move in the game anymore. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Yeah, let's get uh five HP. No, three is good. I think that can one sh shot kill like some bosses. Yeah, it absolutely can. This is a stupid amount of power. Oh, we're getting high rolls too. He just turns around if there's nowhere else for her to go. And we just wander through the dangerous desert again. Let's turn back. There we go. We got the gate. You can't just wait there. It's gotta keep. You gotta keep moving. You know. It's antsy if you stand still. Machine vacuum cleaner behavior. <laughs> Basically a Roomba. Little funky tower is up ahead. Don't let your guard down yet. Don't let your guard down. Just leave her completely unattended. Is that a lucky hit or a regular? Because that was a regular hit. Lucky must be in the 700s. That was a regular, yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, a uh, guffaw of runes. Go there on the wall. I'm gonna arc now. Can't go there, there's too many of us. Hey man, this looks bad. Uh, go, go rescue her. That's not that huge, that's impossible. They're just gonna leave her to die. Hey man, isn't that Mario? You're right, talk about Lucky. Hey Luigi, help me. Alright, let's see if we can just kill it in one shot. Oh, I didn't land it. Uh, which part of Trunkle do I want to hit? That was 76, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's get it again. <laughs> Luigi, no! Did the worm. <laughs> He's just doing his best. I've already lost track of where he is. Just hoping there might be a little animation that tells me. It just gives me time to practice swing bros. That was not correct. Oh, that's this one. Mario is exhausted. <laughs> Quickly catapult him in. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no, the. Oh, I guess we don't get to use that yet. He's just dead. Uh, that's possibly the best bros move, though, that we just unlocked. It's it's a really good one. Fight's already over, though. <laughs> You're simply too powerful. Some defense for Mario. Maybe he might survive. Some speed for Luigi. Somehow we're always getting the worst rolls. Hey, Luigi, thank you, you saved me. I, oh no, I guess it is time. This is a regular toad. It looks like they almost got it! It looks like they got it! And a monster blocking the gate to tell is a huge problem! Needless to say, thanks! Nah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna die if we do this for every toad in this town. There's a lot of toads. There's a lot of toads. Welcome to Little Fungi Town! I I will lose my voice. I am not I'm not gonna have any voice left. I can't do it. <laughs> Pri Princess Peach, Mario Bros, we've been waiting for you. We were told to expect you. Please, we insist you use the lift in the back. I don't want to go to Funky Town! I don't want to go! 
take me anywhere else. Oh, my voice is already gone. Yeah, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop right there. Oh god, what's the song? Wait, is it- is it really just- Won't you take me to Funky Town? I feel like my toad voice has gotten more violent through the years. It's so much more aggressive than it was originally. I'm leaving the stream if you don't stop this, Daniel. Please! Please don't go! Why don't you love me? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I heard you were coming from Toadsworth so soon. So, Anna, you come all the way here. Over here we have Superstar Mario. And Luigi, are you for real? You don't deserve such an incredible honor. Thank you for your hospitality. Very well, now allow us to show you around little Funky Town. Mario, Luigi, thank you so much for all you've done. I'm alright now. So you can relax a little and walk around and enjoy the sights. We can all meet up again a little bit later. USSR Anthem in the Toad voice. No, I, I don't think I could do that. Thank you for the thousand bits, Chainsaw. I might be able to give the Irish National Anthem. Hang on. Hang on. Let's get the, let's get the most iconic bit. She <laughs> oh my god, it actually works to speak at Asquelga. Wait, can I speak Irish in the toad voice? Come over to you, kind Asquelga! You say on Jacker! My god, it works! It actually works! <laughs> Irish is a beautiful language. <laughs> I'm trying to work peacefully. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the misery! <laughs> That could be the best song to cover in the tone voice. <laughs> that could actually be a bass. Uh, I I've thought about making it, putting a video up on the channel where it's just the tone voice, like just stupid shit. Uh. I need like a karaoke cover version of like, like, Enemy from, you know, like the Arcane song. It is called Enemy, isn't it? That'd be amazing. <laughs> but my dad has been spending all his time hanging around the new game arcade. Boy, my mom is so mad, which would be funny, except she goes and takes it out on me. Not easy for a kid when his parents are like this. Jesus Christ. Pretty grim. <laughs> um, can we go to Gofawa Rune soon or what? It's dangerous, I can't go there. You had a tiny little mind. Can we go to the new game arcade? But there are dangerous guys there. We can't go there. Are you crazy or what? What a party pooper. <laughs> bush over there. I wonder what it is. Check out a little fungi town. 
Fall protection services are not part of this kingdom. Apparently not, yeah. Uh, there's mushroom styles, mushroom pants, but they're... They help you win mushrooms in battle. That's interesting. It would give a lot more defense off the bat. Oh, uh, I should probably get that. I should probably get that, because Mario's taking so much damage. More mushrooms makes these the luckier. Wait, is there a luck mechanic? Oh, wait, if I just have a load of mushrooms, it'd be amazing. I'm, I'm gonna buy two of those. Do I just need mushrooms now for that to work? I think I vaguely remember these. Hang on, let me go to the other shop. Just maximum. <laughs> Perfect. I I could I can do I buy seven? Is it just regular mushrooms or super mushrooms too? Take your entire stock. Okay, I mean, that that's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna see how much that matters. We, we might have just destroyed the last semblance of balance in this game. More mushrooms means more damage! Oh! Oh, this could be amazing! There's some heavy consequences, though, compared to the badges we currently have. I think we do it, though. Give him the badge, the mush badge. Insta-kill build. We're gonna have to up our bro points considerably. We've lost quite a bit there. But we can do it. We will. Big mushroom. I feel like there's... There's gotta be a block somewhere. How over there. it has gotta be an invisible block. Somewhere. I gotta go, I gotta go back up there. Mush badge is the notorious badge that everyone takes, but so broke I have to be insanely nerfed in the remake because of how powerful it is in the original. I cannot wait to use it. <laughs> there was a bean. I'm not crazy. Get back to the game arcade in just a mo. Need to unlock the warp pipe. He's losing it. Like a comic has become obsessed with his hobby, hypnosis. In fact, he now brings someone in every day to attempts his little, his weird little hypnotisms. Slowly becoming more and more mushroomy. You are becoming a toad. I am already a toad. <laughs> Guy's losing it. Emma. Mushroom Embassy is up just ahead. It worked, my god. They're here. Wait, no, there's. They're on these. There's, there's, got, there's got to be an invisible one. God, 
Damn it, there never is. There's beans out there, I'm, I'm telling you. Need the beans. Desperately searching. Uh, Vixenator, thank you for 100 bits. I was like seven when I got this game on the GBA, and since I was too young to really understand how to play the game, I just kept going over the beginning over and over again, and that's all I remember about this game. Thank you for streaming it, now I can appreciate the actual game. Hey, no problem. Oh, bless you. I'm trying to remember if I had any games that were like that. I remember when I played, like, Crash Bandicoot, like, 2, at my godmother's house, she didn't have a memory card in her PlayStation. So, like, every time we were there, we would just see how far we could get, and then lose all our progress inevitably. That was one game that I like, just didn't get to play. <laughs> that far into... Let's go to the game arcade. It was a different time when you had to buy a memory card, wasn't it? You just couldn't save it on the console. I'm just looking. Welcome, what do you say? Would you like to play? Give it a try. If you get a super nice score, I'll give you a free Invincish Room. Oh, this game cheats. I was shielded, shielded! Wait, hang on, wait, okay. This is one that's probably- Ah! This game cheats! I was shielding! SHIELDING! No! I did not press that! Gamer Toad. Okay, this is a character of no significance here on the side. Uh, this is our most popular machine, the Star Stash Smash. I score is 200 points, beat it to get an exquisite prize. Let's start to view the rules. Good luck! I remember this game. Basically, you're trying to just ferry in as much as you can. You could just kind of dump them. <laughs> and honestly, it, it tends to work out okay if you just do that. Because <laughs> they give you so much time. High score has already been achieved. I think you can play this with more technique, but honestly, this is this is way more efficient. Sometimes you just give it a little lift. Oh, I was just shy of the funny number. I'm sorry, gang. I tried. Did my best. Congratulations, it's a new high score. Reward. Wait. We must go back. No, now it's even further away. <laughs> Yeah, you received an Invincer Shroom. Hmm. Um, yum, isn't it delectable? Huh? Oh! Mario. Mario is dead. 
How is he? In green hue, yes. Discoloration in the face. The symptoms seem to indicate bean fever. No mistaking it. This illness afflicts many travelers who aren't used to the food in this region. Well, then can you cure him? I had the right remedy. I could cure him, but sadly I'm all out. At this rate, in three days, he'll be a bean. What shall we do? Somewhat dangerous, but west of this town lies a place known as the Flower Ruins. It's said the deep wind of Flower Ruins. It grows crabby grass, an antidote to this fever. Luigi, will you go to Kafawa Ruins? Oh, yeah. On a side note, according to recent research, wow. rifle monsters such as these have settled into Kafawa Ruins. People say that those who have been attacked by these monsters had their bones broken, their flesh stripped, and all their blood sucked out. Yeah. Well, that's what they say. Oh, boy, that's quite frightful. But you're Luigi, you'll do just fine there, surely. Uh, right, Luigi? You'll be fine, won't you? This is for Mario's sake, right? You will go, yes? Look, that's true brotherly love. Sheer will is making his cowardly bones move. How inspiring. Luigi, your only hope. Please come back safely. We'll be waiting for you. Uh, so you can no longer jump because Luigi is so scared. <laughs> He's absolutely terrified. Can't do anything. You also, you also, yeah, you can't get back up, see? You can't jump right now. Um, so you're very quickly gonna get stuck because you can't make this jump here. You gotta go down here. Oh, you're interested by hypnotic abilities. Oh dear, you look so nervous, horrified even. But you start by taking a long, deep breath. What is that? You feel more relaxed now, don't you? Hey, you're dressed strikingly like Mario, aren't you? You infatuated with Mario the Superstar. In that case, I shall turn you into Mario. Now close your eyes. I'll become Mario. Yes, embrace it, believe. Incredible jump. You will face the onslaught of evil. The greatest superstar of the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario, is you. Mm. See, aren't you feeling a tad more Mario-esque? You are becoming Mario. You are turned into Mario. More and more Mario. We're almost Mario. Quite nearly Mario. Let me open your eyes now. Now come this way. <laughs> well, are your hat and clothes not red? You are Mario. His entire accent has changed. tried to warn you about the food. That'll be ten thousand dollars. It's become Chris Pratt. Okay, so now, gotta hop down here. Save it here too. Just the Royal Erica Persona 5. Basically, Dr. Maraki. And now you can access the lifter. This is the, this is the Luigi only sequence. Bean! Found one. They're out there. Is a bean here? <laughs> Any beans? No, they're out there. there. Might be more. Any 
still hallucinate. I'm not. They are occasionally real. You're not allowed to say that. Could be one here. Ah, Jesus. Uh, Alan, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, happy belated birthday to Adam's an artistic woman. It's hard to find communities to feel welcomed in, but you and your community have always been amazing and accepting. Always have a place to go to for comfort when things get hard or I just need to laugh. Sincerely, thank you. Hope you find your beans. Yes, thank you. That's the support we need. That's the support we need. Be blessed the beans. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you for the kind words. I'm glad you feel welcome. Very kind of you to say. Let's return the superstar bean guy. Super bean. Mario beans. We have received the luck. Don't feed into his delusions, please. Like beans. Up here, I believe. Do I just destroy this? Wow. Oh, don't hit that. Okay. Not that. Vaguely remember this. Luigi has opened the way forward. track how many times he said beans. I, I think the counter is in jeopardy, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, we got a little dungeon, let's go. Your reward for completing the puzzles, more beans. Every single part of the game, it just leads to more and more. It's the true objective. Oh, do you want to just get that guy? <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, you, you, you can just bat him if you want. Uh, now, it's solo Luigi adventures. Look at him go. He's gotta do his best. Just him against the world. We have the mushroom power though, so it should it should give us a significant advantage. I don't think I even need to fight most of them. I think we're already so powerful. Shroom power really is strong, though, isn't it? He's doing so much even against all these. It's just one shot kill.
Beans? No. More mushroom power, though. Anything? No, I think I just go up the platforms. Oh, grand stuff, Mr. Disco. <laughs> All good. Thanks there, anyway. RT, you keep accidentally referring to Mario here as Luigi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, let's just stamp the other side of the passport book here, too, you know? Oh my god, it's green Mario. The one and only. I've gotten it most of the way now. I can't remember how I need to do it. I need to raise blue and green. I'll raise this one first. We good. And just don't fall down at the bottom. No, I had it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that took me so much longer as a kid. <laughs> Here we're just like in this zooming. And a lack of beans in this temple, though. Hey, Mr. Mustache, I'm amazed you, you have come so far. The spread in town that I have become a horrible and despicably frightening monster. Why does everybody spread rumors they know nothing about? It makes me furious. It's so annoying, it tears, tears up my insides. Oh, you can help, Mr. Mustache. Please help me release the stress that ails me so. All you must do is dodge my flames for 30 seconds. What do you say? Will you ease my pain? Of course you will. Like I said, you must dodge my flames for 30 seconds. Flames hit you or you fall off the ledge where 30 seconds pass, you must start all over. Actual minigame boss fight, here we go. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Music feels a little intense. Given the circumstances. Success. Oh, many thanks. That really let off a lot of stress. Feels like my soul has at last been released. Door opening is still part of the boss fight. Thank you, Mustachio. When you can go now, I'm done with you. He just fades into oblivion. You got Krabby Grass. And now we just have to go home. Just fall down here. My <laughs> job done. I thought there was a boss uh, down there or something. I thought I remember one there. But no, I guess not. We're just we're just going. You did it, Luigi. Luigi, are you okay? What you don't know what you've been doing? Don't you remember? You went to Kafara Runes to get Krabby Grass from Mario. You really get Krabby Grass. Wow. It really is Krabby Grass. Under the frightful and dangerous Kafara Runes all by yourself. Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are. You'd be a legend in this town. 
By the way, what do you think that thunderous noise was? Something have happened at the embassy. Luigi, shouldn't you be rushing the Mario side? Something bad's going down. Luigi! Princess Peach, she! So it's a much wider clown car, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, Bowser, oh, I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm... Bowletta. Let his power is poured into the, this, this Koopa who is king. The body is of Bowser, but the mind is all of the great Cacletta. I need no voice this time. I'll just steal the real deal. There she goes. How sad, but for 90s kids. <laughs> I don't think it's quite. I don't think it's quite the same. Oh dear. This would have been what, 2001? Mario, the princess. Luigi is very upset. Master Mario, Master Luigi, awful things transpire where you were off to and who knows what. It's like my hobbies will have to be shelved once again. <laughs> Highness. Bowser. No, Cacletta. I mean, Bowletta. A message has arrived. <laughs> Puny little worms are no match for me now. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. I want your precious princess returned safely. Bring me the four pieces of the bean star. I'll contact you again once the bean star is complete. The entire quest now resolves, revolves around, uh, beans. Just constant beans. It's, it's significant importance. How has it come to this? We played our hand out only to find the game is not over. So what we can do for now, we must gather the bean star pieces Bowletta demands. Leah, I know the general area is that the pieces fell in. should be too hard to find them. Mark the piece, the areas where the pieces fell. We'll gather the pieces first. Do you see Mario Bros or me? I will bet a lot of coins that it will be me. Oh, yeah. Not scoff, or I do not intend to lose. Game is afoot. Just attacks Luigi for some reason. <laughs> Master Mario, Master Luigi, we're counting on you. Heed my directions well, and you'll quickly find the bean star piece that landed in T Valley. I recommend going to find this bean star piece first. I'll say my senses have been referred to as strangely keen. So you do actually have to go for this one first. I think after this piece, you can go to them in any order. Um, actually, wait. I can take a pipe, can I? There's one down here. Yeah. Uh, Dad, can you explain what he did to Luigi? Ah, uh, no. No, I, I really can't. Anyway. <laughs> so, let's get back to the valley. We have to go back to where the ship was. Should be up here? Let's 
just sitting here and we're like a moment too late. Oh, is this the thing that fell from the sky and crashed into the hatch with a big old thud? It's gotta be, and thanks to that, the hatch is busted. This is terrible. I like how they suggest this only fell just now, because like we'd actually been to the top of this ship already and it wasn't here. Look at this thing sparkle and shine. I don't know what this is, but I'm putting it in the hole. Don't, we don't bother with those blocks, because they're, they're impossible to get. Let me check the other side, see if there's any means. What's that, you want to know why the ship is in the desert? Oh, that's because, uh, see, this is a sunken ship, you know? It uh, used to float, and then, well, yep, it sank. The time passed and passed, and before anyone knew it, the ocean was a desert. Hey, it's just been so dying long, just look at us. We're just bags of bones over here. Plunder them a bit. Take everything they hold dear. <laughs> Sands. <laughs> it's just early internet. Like, it's the early internet for everything, isn't it? It was ahead of its time. In there is where I need to go, and then there's like a thing down here. Hey, storage area is this way. If you want to get in, you need a membership card for this boat. A membership card to try doing something that'll help out this boat. Beans. No beans. Yeah, I think it's in here. Can't handle this heavy duty brain labor. He's good crying, I swear. This is why I hate hiring these workers from out there in the sticks. Every time we're short, some people and we're hurting. And we're in a huge jam. You ready to take on a little work? Great, okay, come in here. Oh no. This one's hard. I remember sucking at this. Hey, I'm Bink, nice to meet you. You can get 10 barrel points, you can be my sidekick. You win, I win, we all win. On a barrel. Oh, yeah. So you need to line up. Rows? Then you press. Okay, I get it now. So you need to basically line up the colors. We need like 10 rows of them to pass. Yeah. Might not be too bad. Maybe maybe I can brain my way through this. Uh, I'm struggling though. Hang on. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Let's <laughs> gradually get them out. God, they actually give you a lot more time than I remember. Still bad, though. Come on. How do I get that blue one? And get the red one. Get that. I'm so close on this. They start throwing in yellow ones right at the end. You, you just need to get, like, one more point, though. We've almost got it. Okay, the, the rest of it doesn't matter. Yep. Mission has been completed. I remember, like, as a kid, like, 
th this took me literally hours. I had to stop playing the game at one point. Because I just simply couldn't get past this minigame. Child of me simply did not understand what was happening. It was the troll in the yellow ones that it just becomes a pain. I, I, I don't even know how you resolve this one. <laughs> Be here a while. But we could have been. Yeah, I already got the points. We're good. You did it. Yeah, we got it this time. You can play more of this if you, for some reason, want to. <laughs> As I say, you're now my new sidekick. See, hard work. You really helped us out, fellas. Or if we can't pay you with cash, we'll take this instead. If you ever need more work, just drop by, alright? Always happy to welcome hard working types like you, fellas. Uh, Void Cat, thank you for a thousand bits. Happy belated birthday, my dude. Thank you for all the last and positive vibes over the last year. It's the life seeing you through many more. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Hope you're having a good one. Imagine if he paid you in beans. That would be the dream. I think if you do it again, he does pay you in beans, in fact. That, that actually is the dream. Got a membership card right there. That I know. I ought to be able to remember you by sight from now on. This sparkly thing to the hold is a good idea, but where do we put it? Oh, was it? This sparkly thing is a piece of the bean star. Say so you two came here looking for it. Really, you want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you. I gotta tell you, this thing busted our hatch. Can't just give it to you for free. Alright. Get that guy bloat off the wall up ahead. And I'll give you this sparkly, this sparkly thing to you guys. Those are the, you know, conditions of the trade. The burp. This Chocola Cola fizz seeps right into your bones. You guys want me to join me some refreshing cola? The beans up here. Do I electrocute him? Come on, come on, have a look, come see the pathetically inflated man bloat. Drank so much to cola cola, he got stuck in this crack. Plus he forgot where he left the bombs blowing up walls. Had nothing to be done, can't poor bloat escape his face. Now Sans said hard times. Not doing too well. If I go all the way back up, there might be something. Oh, this is it, yeah. There's the trusty dynamite. You need a bomb, you actually do. I mean, this this will solve it. You should probably stand back or something. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's got, it's got very out of hand quick. So what's going on here? Captain, it's the ocean. It's an actual ocean. Was the SS Chocola finally afloat once more? It was very short-lived. Just immediately die again. It didn't last long. Mario killed them all. <laughs> yeah, let's just get through the ocean sequence again. They put the sailors the rest. It's like Luigi. You must you must deliver their souls to heaven. It's for the best. He's 
kill count increased by about 46. That's significant. Gonna see if we can follow it here. I don't know how I get through that door. Oh, I can swim across here now. I couldn't get I couldn't get up here before. That's what it is. Just like this in the corner. Heaven. No, sorry. The afterlife. Gotta be careful there. The loom could very well be going to hell. Did you trip, Luigi? Oh. There he goes. So fragile. Fast spin. Even if you miss it, it's good. Here's the best one, though, right? I'll get it right next time. <laughs> Hang on. Takes a bit of practice. Is it being... It's still crazy, even if I miss it, it's like 120 damage, and it's like an instant kill. There he goes. Practice swing bros, too. I don't know if he's gonna live long enough for this. No, how do I how do I get that one on advance? I got it wrong there. You start with B A. Might be. I get. I can slow it down to see. There's like a timing for it. I just, I just do not remember it. I thought I have a lower down little fire for you here. You missed a bunch of invisible bean blocks. Don't, don't tell me that. Did I missed something there. I did miss something there. You can get chuckle beans out of the rock, apparently. Did not know that. Can I get one here? What here? No, oh, it might have just been that one. The beans are in the goddamn walls! <laughs> Advanced knockback bros, you press A immediately after pressing B. Let's go. I'll have to try it. Square higher lagoon as well. Save it here. We need Mario reveal secrets. You just set up down like your f the floor in like your living room. If you start sniffing wildly, you know something's buried under there. How you use them? What? I don't like that. <laughs> He's basically like a sniffer dog, you know. What you use him for? <laughs> Just go on, Mini Mario. Go get him. He starts digging rapidly. <laughs>
Okay, big old area here. It's quite a bit to check out. Have you heard those rumors about Prince Beasley? Well, I have, let me tell you, he's running around hunting high and low for something. The young prince is in pickle, that's no lie. I wonder if he'll come this way. Save it again here. Music there felt very Professor Layton esque. There's like various bits that feel like they're from Professor Layton. Testament to the game's music. Oh! You move it. Got to hear this. I'm back with you, monst monstrous news and incredible rumors. Well, there's a story about that strange looking shiny bean thing that fell from the sky. Wait, is that the one everyone is saying Hermie found? Yeah, the same. And we took that bean thing and decorated the shell with it. That's the word, anyway. Here looks just like a festive holiday tree. Whoa, crazy cool. We really should go take a look at it. Yeah, it's a fantabulous idea. Let's do it. If you just lie there all day, you'll get wicked sunburned. They assault you and then afterwards, like, if you just stay there, you're gonna- you're gonna get worse. Nerve them. See where we are on the map, too. We're in, like, the distant corner. I think this is one of the last new areas of the game. If I remember rightly. We're definitely getting there. I know what the other ones are. Uh, this is definitely the most engaging. Bean star pieces. Go down. Bean? No, there's no bean. How would you do this? Jellyfish Sisters Relaxation Room. Check this map. Uh, yeah, I think we need to go there next. I think if I check over here... Turtle guy's here, yep. Can't pass me yet. He has bean fever. <laughs> Three days, I will also turn into a bean. Please pray for me. <laughs> I don't have long. <laughs> How did I not see this before? Mario Luigi, ML, clearly this is meant as a Marxist-Leninist text. It's so obvious. It's like, my god, it all fits. <laughs> like, what? Bug snacks Bible holy I don't I don't understand. <laughs> it was just communist revolution. It's such a stretch. Okay, yeah, we gotta talk to uh, Gigi and Mary. First I'll do it justice, you must experience it. Because you have to Gigi and Mary, aren't you? Welcome Travis is the relaxation room where we ease your weary body and spirit. Our massage masters use their miracle hands to give you a gentle, calm massage. Your coins gets one individual a thorough if brief rub down. Both of you would only be 200 coins. What do you say? You gotta pay. And you can sit in the chairs in that room and wait. The peach is in danger. But, oh, let's get just a nice massage. We have time. Hey, they're welcome. How are, you? How are you? Super, I'm Gigi. Now let's get right to it. Show me where you're sore. Oh, show me too, please, because I'm Mary and I despise soreness as my sworn enemy. Look at this, your hands are so very, very tired. You too, this is awful. Your hands are so tired they look ready to hibernate. Don't worry, a miraculous hands gently coax the weariness from you, promise. Hmm. 
and he just sets her on fire. <laughs> oh, jeepers, what's this? Bowser, I mean, double Bowser, you've mastered the fire brand. Oh my goodness, how shocking. You've mastered the thunder hand. You guys aren't ordinary travelers, are you? Are you too fascinating? As miracle hand technicians, we've mastered the hands like yours. Yes, it's so true, Mary. Why, with your hand powers, you can even get those. Anyway, I gotta say, you guys don't need massages. Instead, we'll do you one better. We'll teach you two very special hand techniques. Teach us. The lesson begin. We'll show you guys... Two guys, two absolutely incredible techniques that will make your hands magical. Those who don't listen will get left behind. Bye bye This is all just part of the relaxation treatment. Your first green bean. Press L. This is, this is, I think, our last set of powers for the game. Your thunder power with the B button. Hold it up when you just can't contain the electricity. When you're about to explode, release the B button. You electrify the person in front of you with this move. You use the D-pad to move on the same path. Yeah, make them feel it right down the spine. Make it stingly. The big jolt of electricity racing down the back. Yeah. With electrical tickle power, you can push things with your back or walk from side to side. The time has come to use it. Are you excited? Right, try to bump into me with your back. Come on, bring it. We did it. Nice. Yowzer wowzer. You're a tickle technician. Your turn next, Red. Start the change. Tickle technician sounds so dirty. It doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> You're about to ignite. Release the B button. This one you can just run super quick. Right then, that's fine. Tickle boldly with power. They can feel tickle fever as it burns, burns, burns. Yeah, you can use this move to dash super fast or even knock stuff over. Feel the power. Well, let's get you a little practical experience. Third degree burns. And yeah, we gotta hit the rock. Go, Luigi! Nice, super duper. You're a tickle technician. Super, and that's all we have to teach you. Oh, Gigi, I noticed it's being super picky, but you're forgetting one thing. Oh, that's right. Of course, when you want to stop dashing, in any direction other than the one you're facing, just press the A button. Really, this time we taught you everything you, you, you can. Now that that's done, we have a little job for you. Right, that's right, Mary. We need you to use that technique to get the two pearl beans in this cave. The power is much, much more powerful than theirs. But you can get the two pearl beans. And I don't mean to be a pill, but if you refuse, you have to pay for your lesson. It'll cost you 100,000 coins. Yeah, we better get to it. Deeply in depth. Bro, it's gotta be another way than burning and electrocuting each other. <laughs> it couldn't just be, it's like Luigi's just like, Hey Mario, you know, I need you to walk in a line with me. But no, it says just, I need to electrocute you. You just don't listen. <laughs> okay, so now you get like the applications of this. So you can finally push the boo statues. They disappear when you look at them. This will unlock some areas on the map. You actually pay them a hundred thousand. I think the I think there's a max coin limit. 
10,000. Possible if two infiltrators slip between roll and barracks and walk sideways through the system. Permits to the system must be undertaken immediately for the safety of the pearl beam. Gotta just walk through like that. And there's the bean. I'm surprised they couldn't get it themselves, considering they know these techniques too. The red pearl bean. Oh, get it, please. Hurry, quickly now. <laughs> like, really agitated. <laughs> I thought you could actually walk backwards into a side without electrocuting your brother. That's the thing. Oh, okay, so these turtle guys... You now just knock them over. How <laughs> that happened? You guys are no slouches. And this causes an audio glitch whenever you do it. I'm surprised I didn't even try and fix this. For um, the Switch re-release of it. Yeah, see, you can keep here in the dash whenever you do it. And we just run on through. Red Pearl Bean. Try to make it as accurate as possible, I guess. Seems it. On the so bad. Pearl Beans acquired. And Mary were so excited by the Pearl Beans episode that they've fallen fast asleep. As a result, the relaxation room is closed for a while. It it never opens again. It's permanently out of business now. And now, in this part of the world, we can now just keep going. We just knock everyone down. It kills them. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't realize we were that powerful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's pretty good. How much have we been grinding? I don't... Th I, I've been skipping a lot of fights. Is the thing. Like, really not much. But, we do seem all powerful. We do seem all powerful. Even, I, and then Luigi can get him with the crit. I need, I need more BP and HP. So this, you can spin into, and it'll like transport you up. I just want to see if there's anything else down here. Come on. Another mushroom. More mushroom power. Beans too. Yeah, the mush badge is insane. I don't think I ever used it like this. Like, like all the many, many times I've played this game. I think I usually just went with like the high end and the bro rock. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Just have a nice relaxing time through Superstar Saga. I'm having fun. You do the hand bro attacks now, can't you? Yes, I think you can in battle. Try those too. Right, this seems like a perfectly normal setup to have on the beach. You know, the massive, like, spike beam segment. Let's go. 
Let me, let me just clear out the area real quick. Is this uh, eight enemies killed? Level up. It's Persona with the car all over again. Oh, no. oh, I can't get him this time. I have to see with the hammer. Oh, here we go. Oh, I, I didn't get it. Luigi, please. <laughs> so stupidly strong. I think this one is just... Yeah, this one is just Luigi. He does like an AoE. That one's pretty good. Mario has like no input on that one. It's kind of funny. So this platform, you can just kind of spin into it. Crucially, there is a beam. Send that away, it should respawn. Leave the area. Mario is just an emotional support for that move. It feels it, doesn't it? You missed a bean. Oh, hang on. Where's the bean, gang? Is this the bean? Previous room. Of absolute importance. Need every bean. I'm tempted to get like a walkthrough, like Game Facts FAQ or something. Just to find every single bean in the game. Very important to the playthrough. This goes over here. Bean. Pull up the wiki. <laughs> bean suit. They just let you make coffee, but it's very important. <laughs> it's very important to our playthrough. Activate that. I think we're blitzing through the be beach as well. It's not taking us long here. It's not even, like, yeah, we're like half of the area down. Jesus. Horde of nine, 99. I don't know if there's that many in the game. <laughs> I'm grinding two of them. I'll take like this year's April Fools with Sonic. We should have the next year's April Fools game be Mario straight up dying for a funny game concept. I don't think that Nintendo will allow it. <laughs> Nintendo takes their IP very seriously, you have to remember. How does this one work again? Oh yeah, this is just Luigi peppers them. But unfortunately, this one seems to be healing them. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's try a Thunder Bros. There we go. Still absurdly powerful. Just need more bro points. We can do it more often. Okay, uh, I can do a swing bro. Get him, Luigi! <laughs> Still a one-shot kill. So strong. Okay. Can I get knockback ro bros right? There we go. Yeah, so you can start, you can launch Mario back repeatedly. If you get the timing of that down, it just keeps going like until the boss is dead. We'll see if we can kill a boss in one shot with him. It's very possible. sure what you need to do. This game older or younger than Bowser's Inside Story? Much younger. Much younger. This is, this is the first Mario and Luigi game. Oh. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, Luigi. You tried. He's safe. <laughs> Can I even hurt them while they're like this? Yes, apparently. Oh, you tried, Mario. Okay, uh... I can only kill them all, but Lu Lu Luigi has so much AoE compared to Mario. He's more of, like, single target. Maybe we should just give Luigi, like, the super items. And make him unbelievably powerful with, like, Thunder Bros and stuff. I think I might just swap it. It's like, what? They're, all, they're both so stupid strong though already. Luigi might not even need it. Like he's doing 124 even without the item. 75 pow, and like this is mostly fives. To make him even stronger. Just need like a ready supply of syrup more than anything. Do you want to just make Luigi god? In this world, like we could do it. It's a Triforce. Yeah. And we'll try we'll try to get some double XP a while with Mario. It's what he deserves. So like all of his AoE is just going to kill everything now. Mario's still like doing a load of damage.
a hundred and eight. Like, that was 600 from that. Oh my god, like, that was a basic fight. Five more bro points. We have to start skipping battles or we will just destroy the game. We have to skip them. We're already so strong. Can you make Luigi faster so he goes first? I, I can try. He's gonna need a lot more speed. I think Mario might always go first. Speed doesn't really matter too much in this game, honestly. How do I get over there? Uh... Oh, how, how was I supposed to get over there? Hang on. Do I just spin that? Oh, I think I just spin from there. Can I make that? Must have been able to. There's a bean up there. I, I'll go back for it. I'll get it. Let's charge into the boulder, Luigi. like the Antichrist in Super Paper Mario makes sense he'd destroy God. Yeah, he, he's been like the Antichrist a few times I feel. Mario Tennis he became the Antichrist again. I don't know why it keeps happening to Luigi. He's very powerful. I've almost unlocked the entire pot. I need to. Get in there. I need to check a map in a moment. Uh. It's an underwater section there? Did I go in that? I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, Luigi. Kill that. So strong. <laughs> 190 with a hammer. Something up there. I don't know how to get up there though. Go left and down maybe? Don't think I went this way yet. What happens if you start a battle of hand powers? I think you just hurt everything. Bean. One up there. Again, I, I'm skipping enemies here, but I, I think that's okay. I think we will become too strong if we fight them. Oh, I'm sorry, Mario. We have gone for the glass cannon route. Like, we take a lot of damage from hits. Oh, 
Oh, even if it's killed it, I think it just keeps stacking it on the one enemy. It's unfortunate. Let's see how much Thunder Bros does. Oh, it just heals him. Belated birthday, RT. Hope you had a great week off. Thank you very much. Had a fantastic time. Jesus. Pretty sure there's something here. So badly hurt. <laughs> I'll do it. Still good. Use healing. I, I gotta keep my mushrooms thing. Gotta keep my regular mushrooms. I do have plenty of the nuts though. Maybe I can use some of them. I thought there was something there. It really looks like something's hidden. Yeah, there is. Bean. Why do we need that many? Because the badge we have gives us power based on the amount of mushrooms we hold. Because we have the maximum amount, it's, we're stupidly strong. Yeah, I think that's the zone clear. You need to like extend this walkway out. Aha, he said nuts. <laughs> Comedy gold! Oh, here he is. You must defeat him. How's that feel, Hermie? Like the look of it. Oh, I get a good feel from that. Yeah, I do. Uh, who are you? Have you come to help me decorate too? My red clothes and a mustache. Even that mean. Could you be? Santa Claus. Oh, no. Not quite Santa. Hermie, what is it? Oh, wow, in closer inspection, I see you have red clothes and a shiny mustache. Could you be? Uh, jump out, it's true, it's true, you're Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom. Pendular. Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom is here, priority on, there's no time to be decorating. Whoa, it's true, it's true, can I touch your mustache? Jump, it's gloriful, granular. And I'll wait to brag to everyone I know, this rules. He's straight up being assaulted. Oh, my decoration. Oh, you must be the president of the Mario fan club. No, wait just a second, green clothes mustache. Any chance that you're the famous brother who always gets left behind? <laughs> Luigi? Oh, yeah. Wow, are we lucky or what? How old are you? What's your sign? And your hat size? Okay, your waist. Favorite snack? Oh. Decorate and stop, it's all because of you. If you want to cause trouble, then you're stupid. The most recognition Luigi ever gets, it's true. Okay, let's see if we can one shot kill this guy. There was a whole boss fight there. <laughs> it might be a little strong. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Yeah, I might have to take off the mushroom badge. I think that's too much. I think that's too much. Please excuse Hermes, he's a little kooky. Yeah, I'm sorry, Files, guess we were in the wrong. Yeah, I'm sure you two must have some reason for coming here. Bean thing on the shell. I hope you do. What's so important about that thing? Don't you hear that, Hermie? It's a dough, then I have no choice. Bean Gash. Got a bean star piece. Only three more to go. Decorating a uh, thing. After decorating things so well, too. I tried so hard. He's just depressed now. What, you leave it already? Well, you can't stay and relax personally. Superstar's a busy people, I'm sure. Going back this way should be a shortcut. Dad ate so many beans that he broke the game. <laughs> like, we just breezed through that area. I can't believe it went so quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the bean badges, okay? Because the bean badges are, are providing too much power. We'll go back to the bros rock. And the high end badge, okay? Sorry, not the bean badges, the mushroom badges. Beans are okay. Beans are okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not nothing to do with beans. It's not. Calm down, chat. Calm down. Misleading stream title. Calm down. The beans are okay. It's mushrooms that we removed. It's mushrooms we removed. The beans are okay. He hates beans. Yeah, we'll try and go back to Chuckle Luck Woods. There's an area in here that we missed. We gotta get the the Colosseum there. Do you see it? He hates everyone and everything. <laughs> This guy who was in the way, just gonna knock him over. We're we having a beantacular birthday. Beans! They're here. They're here. Where's another one? the logic is for the hidden bean blocks. I thought there used to be like five or something in every room where you find one. I thought there was way more, but they're just not showing up. There's one. Beans. As a mushroom, I find your inhumane actions as disgustingly atrocious. How could you do such awful things to mushrooms? Sorry if I offended you. Sorry, I saw you had to find out like this. Cancel this man. I don't think I can go near yet. Winkle Realm lies ahead. Outside is not allowed to pass through. I mean, I see it. Trust it, there's a bean here. Sorry, what was that? 
<laughs> I got distracted. Swinkle <laughs> Coliseum, surviving it is hard. Swinkle Coliseum reception, are you up for the challenge? Entrance fee is 500 coins. Oh, it costs a lot for this one. Go learn the secrets of Winkle Coliseum. You need Winkle to acknowledge you. Next time we enter, we two will win. Wanna try? Good luck. Welcome to Winkle Coliseum. Ready to try Tracola Bounce. I remember this. Basically, you gotta bounce them back and destroy as many as you can. You get those ones. Jesus Christ. Uh, they can deflect a hit for you. Time is when the snail makes it all the way over. I think you need like 20 get through. I think we're gonna be able to get here. I spent so much time doing this back in the day. It just, uh, it's amazing how much how quick it just comes back to me, do you? Kind of just keep moving and just focus on deflecting, and then hopefully, sometimes it lands. Whacking them back. Oh, incredible, you did the high score is yours. Your champion, take this. The Winkles acknowledge you. Get a Winkle card. Yeah, the beach area really is the longest segment for the Bean Star pieces. Like the uh, the other ones are quite short in comparison. That's the Winkle card. You are the Coliseum champions. Winkles acknowledge you. The beans out here. Take that. Oh. Oh, what is this boo I say? You guys again. Find his treasure first. It's mine, see? cornering them. Oh sure, you guys are real tough team it up on me. I don't think you can beat me just because I'm alone. My solo debut on the battle line, see? He may not live long. <laughs> Let's get him, gang! <laughs> okay, a little less powerful without the mushrooms under our belt. Little less powerful. But that's all right. Now we actually have to work for it. So bad timing. Oh, launch a successful swing, bro, yet. We will get it. Going so fast. Yeah, let's get get fire bros going a bit. Let's hit it with everything. This one's not nearly as strong.
some Thunder Bros. But it's a much more it's a much more heated fight now, isn't it? Trying to catch him. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh my god, he's killing us. Oh, he's dead. No, we're still strong. <laughs> we did have to work for it a bit more, though. I'm, I'm okay with that. We got a bean star piece, only two more to go. Oh, I'm not giving up, see? Just disappears into the ground. You want the mushroom badge back. No, you don't. <laughs> You're too strong. We have to limit ourselves somehow. That fight took ages. That, that was a fast fight. That still went very quick. Right, there's another one. Down this way. Gotta remember where the Boo statue was. It's off this way somewhere, wasn't it? It's just over here. Can't get that without the hammer. Let's move further over. Yeah, here we go. You used to be a glass cannon, but now you are just glass. <laughs> Look, we're st we're still doing well. Like we still just annihilated that boss. It's not the end of the world. Look at this other bean I got. Remember when I got the bean? Is the old heart. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, it's a bean. The weird thing is, because I remember finishing this game at like level 50 and stuff like that, right? And I'm not even near there. But I don't remember ever being this powerful. Fire assistant, inquire within, ask for her help. That's the bean star piece. Yerf. Possible, the way I'm working with explosive colors like those. You must suck tired of this game on your first go. Water, drank too much water. What does one to do with such a riffraff? Welcome, welcome. It's called Harahol, genius designer, and also called uh, Bleach. Yes, we are one and the same. Did you know? Did you know? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, whatever. Am I correct in assuming you're interested in the splash assistant opening? Fine, fine. If you do a decent enough job, I'll pay you. Your pay will be. Bean-like thing that could skid it down from the heavens. to the Oh yeah. You have some sort of complaint, huh? <laughs> it's better now, then. They're scared of them. <laughs> you can help me with my splat right away. You must be snappy. Just do it one and get it done. But my meal, just give you a little advice while you work. Trust me, you need it. Go have yourself a drink so you become a proper splart wa water, water pump. I don't like the word splart. It, just, it sounds too close to like shart or something, you know? Like. It's just 
not right. Paul Splar. Okay, this is the t-shirt minigame. I remember this. Must die the fabric. Be on the shoot water design bomb. I love the design bomb you hit. I love the fabric. But if you hit two design bombs at the same time, and the fabric color becomes a mixture of those two colors. Don't forget, it's vile to splatter. More teensy thing. If you're dying fabric and you think barf, that's all wrong. Talk to Bleach. Uh, he'll make the fabric nice and shiny white for you. Oh, it is just bleach. Okay. <laughs> Once you're dying, and you must choose your design. Let's shoot again. Design the design bomb you shoot. How does design your duds? Design what patterns are. Drop the design. Polka dot design. And the checker design. Hit two or more design bombs, the pattern always ends up being the star, remember that. I think there's like a spreadsheet thing you can do to get- If you make every kind of shirt, I think there might be a reward. Okay, give me a red color. Vaguely remember it. You do every single possible combination. Yeah, I'll do fine. Next design is, I want something in yellow and in a check pattern. Only hit yellow. Check pattern. Next one. Next design is, give me something purple. Purple with a polka dot flare. Get some more water. Need to wait for purple. Polka dots. Oh, he's slippery, this one. Oh. Start over. I remember sucking at this one as a kid. The last one I asked for brown in color, and I couldn't work out that you need to hit like all three colors at once to get it. For, like the life of me. Polka dot. I'm depressed, I crave brand with a star. Need to get them all. Nope. Oh, I got that one pretty easy that time. I don't know how, like, a brown shirt with a star conveys depression. Sure, look. Splendid, we're all done here. Means I must pay you with a bean like thing as promised. Go next door and get your pay. I'm depressed, me too, buddy. Oh, no. It's the bean like thing, I promise you, take it with you. That's the third piece. We're just blitzing through them. One more to go. I think you can still play it? No, you can't. Okay, maybe it's only in the remake that lets you keep doing it. it might not be in this one. I think you need to leave and come back. Ah, okay. see. Is in this game. Do we want to try and commit to the hell that is every single shirt? Great timing. As soon as I started selling my splat clone designs, we just sold out and started getting orders for more. You guys have time, I'd like you to make more clothes for me. Make me a lot of clothes, I'll make it worth your while. So I want you guys to make your own designs. Oh no, yeah, here it is. As you fill all these spaces, I'll give you something incredible. Oh, welcome to t-shirt hell. 
pays with beans. Let's just get the star. Every kind of star shirt, every kind of each of the fabrics. Oh, he does give beans. Yeah, we just gotta get the work. Yeah, make yourselves comfy. We're designing clothes. Let's do all the brown shirts. We need the beans. It's the woo bean as well, which is like the main kind of bean we're after. It's really important. It's gonna take ages. <laughs> Think of all the bean payments. Yeah, we miss one, that's okay. We'll just cross off a of design. Guess I'll go do my taxes or something. <laughs> Yeah, and that now might be a good time to do your taxes, chat. If you've been holding off on that, you know. You know, just need to get those returns in. Uh, you you got plenty of time to work away. Just one more brown shirt necessary. Uh, which one is it? Was it stripes? Well, it's not that one. Polka dot, okay. Be right back, I'm gonna go on holiday. Yeah, that's fair. Polka dot is like the trickiest one to get, you gotta wait a while. Okay, all the brown shirts are done. We'll go we'll go color by color. So we did red with a star. So we'll do, like, red with every other one. Go back to edit a YouTube video. We need the shirts. We need the beans. Mario's gonna be so sick after this. <laughs> His digestive track is just going to be in tatters, you know? He's not going to be feeling very good. I just need the stripe in red. In fact, water poisoning is a real thing. Don't be too hydrated now. Knock off purple with stripes. So many to get. At the very least, you almost always get a new shirt. There's so many. But like the early point in the process. Let's check off a yellow one. Everyone who ever drank water has died. It's true. It's a worrying trend here, you know, you want to be careful. Wait, did we get all the red ones already? <laughs> you might have. Okay, uh, let me get like a blue one. Red stripe is missing. Okay, thank you. Let's get red stripe. Or beans. Oh, 
I love how Artie's age goes up every few minutes. <laughs> um, I'm not too happy about that, honestly. I feel like I've had a lot of birthdays recently, you know? Last year wasn't too great. This year happened again. Getting kind of worried about next year now. Seen a worrying trend here. Bright blue and then star blue. I can't remember what the reward for this is. I want to say it's like a good badge. There has to be a good reward for doing this, considering just how much labor goes into it. Is it stripe blue I need? Star blue next. Today's my birthday, one year closer to the sweet release of Dash in Minecraft. That's an interesting detail. I'm not gonna die. IRL. I'm all in. You think about it, this is the Wash and Paint Try stream now. We were comparing the Mareep stream to it a lot. <laughs> I don't know if that's sincere. I, I thought I thought Mareep put on a lovely show. Okay, I need a uh, stripe and polka dot yellow. the shirts. Uh, what material do you think it is? That'd be a worrying question. Okay, I need striped yellow. We're getting there. We're over halfway now. This is the content not everyone gets to see playing this game. But we tough it out. Actually completionists on this channel. The shirts are huge, who is even buying them? That's a, that's a good question. They are massive. They're not gonna fit anyone. Okay, purple. Uh, purple check. Okay, I need purple star. King Babam. Polka dot purple next. We're almost there, only two more colors. I have to turn the hose off. They're wasting so much water. It's just not a concern. Was it polka dot purple, yeah? Is polka dot purple? Yep. Thank you. Okay, purple's done. To get orange and green. Now, orange is actually going to be a bit of a tricky one to line up. That's not right. Just start with orange a bit sooner. Because of the distance with them. We need the blue one to just get out of the way. There we go, there's the opening. It's the first orange. It's 
try and do green. Actually, no, I should I just go for orange first because I'm gonna accidentally get green, I think, at some point. Orange is tricky. Big video game and just the music is a pop. Yeah, the music is like keeping us alive through all this. Orange check and polka dot. Think of all the beans we'll have. Orange uh, polka dot. Orange check. The little flying things that are visibly scared when Mario vomits salt water. <laughs> God, if it is salt water, and it might well be, like Mario's, like that's probably gonna be worse for Mario. That's really gonna do a number on him. It's gonna be very sick. He was rapidly being dehydrated. <laughs> okay, we need only green now. Did it. Mario's liver is doomed. All but check for green. Okay, thank you. We should have started with these ones. They seem to be the harder ones to get. You gotta like go past one. There we go, that is green. All but check for green. Try and get polka dot if we can. That one's always hard. Stripe and Star. This is the cursed version of Super Mario Sunshine. It's Mario Sunshine, but they couldn't afford Flood. There's no equipment left, so like they just have to use Mario. Got that very wrong. <laughs> Red one, if that would just get out of the way. Okay, one more. Play the version of Sunshine where he just spits on everyone. This is probably a mod that's like something weird like that. <laughs> I could see it. It'd be really messed up. It's just Mario Sunshine, but like it's modded so he's just vomited on you the entire time. Just stripes now, yeah. Close complete. Here's your full catalog. Fabulous, you filled every single space. Congratulations. All oh, these own clothes. I can open my own shop. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please accept this. We got Harhall's pants. So busy getting ready to open my store, I don't think I'll be back here for a while. Just take care. There they go. Yo, he gave us his pants. Uh, these 
Up your HP by 60. What's a random G? What's random G mean? Random gravity. I don't think I want those. That sounds terrible. That sounds so awful. <laughs> what the peppers do. I really don't want that. That sounds awful. Compared to the lucky mushroom, which is like, give it us make it us so lucky. Try it. Okay, pants acquired. We did it, gang. Okay, does anyone know if where there's any more of the Boo statues? I feel like we can go and get some. Boo statues and like the, the Koopa that we have to knock over. We can unlock all those in the world now. The only thing we can't destroy yet is like those specific hammer spots. Got the beam there, I'm pretty sure. Over here. Never mind. What's it mean? I see it. I don't know how I get to it. I don't see any path to it. Everything's just freaking out here. Uh oh. Yeah, he's just he's just weighed down now. And it messes with the timing of his jump too, so I can't get it. It's now significantly harder to dodge and land anything. <laughs> Those pants suck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change them back. They're awful. <laughs> it does make it more challenging, though. That's true. Maybe we keep them for that sole reason of just difficulty. All right, we'll give it a go with the pants then. Uh, there's another secret technique I think we can get now. Was there was there a turtle guy in the hammer cave? No, it was a black rock, wasn't it? Can't get the black rocks yet. Why does he only enjoy watching us suffer? <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> Check something important. I have a lot of beans. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Oh. Five pieces of bean fruit. Okay. I think I need to get eight of those. Also need to go and get coffee. Okay, which coffees did we need? Did we get the hoo-hoo blend? And rewind if we have it. Yep, this is new. Cool. Yeah, another video conference. Hiya, boss. We're supposed to be here in person this time. Promises are made to be broken. I'm too busy with my research. Tell me you said the another representative. No, there's no need for that. Isn't it? It's brand new Game Boy Horror boasts a new warping capability. 
Bring the new bean juice and place it before the monitor. Actual teleportation. The warp was successful. And then her mind numbingly deep flavor. Is that sampling is a little something I invent in my spare time? Maybe it'll aid you. Power grip. Now I really will be there in person. I think this one lets you hold the hammer forever. Which is a very unique ability. Okay, did I get the teehees for- I can't get it anyway. I got a Chuckachino, didn't I? Feel like we did a Chuckachino. Did, okay. I don't think we did a Hulumbian, but we don't have enough beans for that. Is the Hulumbian the only one left? Did we do everything else? Did I do a woohoo blend? I think it's just the Hulumbian. You drank any of the coffee? I've drank some of it. Plus six, random. Speed, sure. A lot of chuckle beans. Um, there's seven total, so we're missing two. We haven't done Hulumbian. Did we do a chuckle chuckle one on its own? Let's try a chuckle one. We have so many beans. Chuckle blend. Oh, we did it. We did it. Cheekily rewind here. It's trying to escape the menus. No! So <laughs> I keep getting this wrong. Next menu. Quit. Okay, we're missing two. We're almost there though. want a bean drink just like that, not gonna lie. Just beans. All you need. Okay, there should be something you unlocked. A few spots, even. Is up here, maybe? pipe. Should have access to some new places as part of the uh, bean fruit side quest now. Up there. Okay, there's one. Oh, Mario's in light gravity now. Of course he is. Let's swing. Get a handle on this. It's so strong. We get light gravity, the Mario is fine. It still just makes it so floaty. Just tweaking it. You have to go up here? Look at him go! <laughs> That's so stupid looking. It's 
some more health, sure. You drank some Red Bull before this. That would explain it. Let's escape them. I need to go all the way around here, because I'm pretty sure there is a bean fruit. really pulled out a Kami Kami hard right there. Hand gestures at the end, yeah. I know I can move that guy there too. We'll come back to him in a moment. Gotta unlock this first. I think there's something good in this one. It's like a Bro Rock DX is like one of the most powerful items in the game. Trying to find it a while. <laughs> oh. Let's keep on. Nope. Keep on running. Got the iron pants. Luigi. Yeah. Oh, I forgot they do this if they're separated. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. Uh, so the iron pants always give heavy gravity. <laughs> hmm. But it's also double the defense. Jesus Christ. Try it. Luigi. HP goes way down, but that's because of the unique pants, though. Pants were given a load of it. Just gotta knock this guy out of the way. To the Yoshi Theater. Oh, it's only seven that you need. Okay. This isn't just a single bean fruit. Hey, what's with you two? I just waltz up and start talking to my master. Weasels, look at you. There's no doubt in my mind that you've come looking for money. Hope you know that my master is very busy. I have time to waste in the likes of you. Be off, I say. The bean star busted into four pieces. Oh, master, master, you mustn't listen. You can't listen. All this talk is just meant to swindle you out of your money again. It's all lies, lies. It's gonna murder him. <laughs> Silence, you twit. With that, please excuse me. What's that? There's something on my face. They look like Bubbles, the legendary soda maker. That's because I'm Bubbles' younger brother. Must be very old. They've been telling jokes a while that I, uh, the, the cola. My name is Bottle, young, younger brother of the legendary soda maker. As you can see, I'm rich enough to own my own theater. I also happen to be president of the Yoshi Fan Club. The theater was designed by a Yoshi-loving chap specifically for the enjoyment of the Yoshis. So what did you want to talk about? <laughs> well, we want the bean star. Yes, of course, fine, fine. I suppose I could decorate the sign with something else and give you that give that sparkly thing to you. Oh yeah. Oh you mustn't, master, you mustn't! a lot of pain in this game. <laughs> However, only on one condition. The sign is my theater's face. Just find something else that can be used to decorate my grand sign, understood? But you mean neon eggs. Because I shall trade you this for the seven brilliant colors of the neon eggs. Possible, Master. Washed up middle-aged men such as these could never get the neon eggs. But 
age do you have to be to be considered middle-aged? How close am I? Genuine question. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Shut up. You're there. <laughs> Mifro, thank you for 500 bits. Hey, IT, daylight savings make it difficult, car difficult, hard to catch the streams. Just want to swing by and show some support, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Hope you're well. 40s. Late 40s. Okay. Anything above 20? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yoshis eat a particular kind of food, they lay neon eggs, so they say. Inside the movie theater are seven hungry Yoshis. On that particular food and give it to the Yoshis inside. To get a neon egg, it means that Yoshi's stomach is filled. It also means everyone's happy. Right? Incredible Master, thinking not only yourself, but of all the Yoshis too. But you don't just stand there. There, stare and thank my master. You're done thanking him. Hurry up and get those neon eggs. You mentioned that there is someone in this theater as well versed in neon eggs. Talk to that individual about what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs and where to find it. There's a guy who will mark the bean fruit on your map. Which is basically all we need. Uh, because we already collected five of them. Here's- here's the- the hungry, hungry Yoshis. I just dotted about the place. The chairs look so cushy and comfortable. Of course I can't sit in them because my tail gets in the way. Indeed, I am the architect who designed this- this very theater. I'm called Father. Awesome, uh, an awesome indeed. I'm the older brother of the castle town's greatest intellectual. <laughs> what you say? What neon eggs you say? Did you know that I'm a neon egg fiend? <laughs> That's right, some know me as an architect and some know me as an intellectual's older brother. But in reality, I'm just an old man who loves neon eggs. Perhaps. <laughs> Please help us. But you want to know what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs? That'd be bean fruits, perhaps. Bean fruits are natives of the bean bean kingdom. They grow in the ground, perhaps. Yeah, we gotta dig them out of the ground. Give to Yoshi. You will get a neon egg immediately. Nothing wrong with being a, with an old man being a neon egg fiend. Never even found a single neon egg in all my life. We have five in our in our suitcase. The map that shows the kind of the general area where the bean fruits may be. Perhaps. Oh yeah. We're going to find them and, f and feed them to the Yoshis. I just need to check which ones I haven't got. Put marks on your map. So, a bunch of these are going to be crossed off immediately because we gathered so many. Let's go to the areas, find the bean fruit. Yeah, so we're almost done. <laughs> There's only two left. RT is as close to 50 as we are right now from the GameCube's release date. Peace. Wow, thanks for that. What a what a fun bit of trivia. Right. We haven't had any existential dread or anxiety this stream yet. Let's change that. In this area. God, it's not behind there, is it? I don't think I can get the next level of hammer yet. Oh, it might be down here. Yeah, there we go. I can't believe I missed that earlier. Uh, okay. There's only one left now. We've already done most of the scavenger hunt, because the game just lets you do it, like, super early. Which is kind of cool, honestly. 
This game very much has the sense that like once you unlock like an ability to go somewhere, you can just go, you know? It gives you like a few spots at once, even if the game doesn't direct you there. God, the heavyweight affects the hammer and stuff too. I, I don't know if I want that one. The iron pants are gonna make him a tank, but... I don't know if we should do it. Tanks are heavy. It just messes up the timing of everything. I have a co-worker who is genuinely too young to remember the original DS. It doesn't get easier. <laughs> oh no. Ah, okay, I can't get that one. I, I, I thought that was like just a... ...guy you could charge down. This guy. <laughs> Lucky is now over 200 damage. Psychic damage is too real. I think you have to fight a boss as the Ouija for this last one. I, I think we, we've been to the area where it is, near the ship. God damn it, man. Leave us alone. Yeah, we're just going up. It might affect the timing even of this. 300 damage. Oh, no. <laughs> He's, you're already dead, man. Stop it. <laughs> Tendork, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you very much. Bastard. <laughs> I think it's over here. What's it? I need to go into like the valley a bit, I think, and go around. Must be it. We located the beans yet? We're working on it. Anyone else remember the Nerf DS case? It was so cool. I had like the just the original brick of a Nintendo DS. I never got the DS Lite or anything. It's like the one that you, you can kill a man with. Won't let me heal Mario because he's standing too far away. Yeah, here it is. Got him. Got him, Luigi. 1v1. Luigi. See how long it takes to kill him. Oh, I forgot that he's eating the prince for some reason. You can see him there. Just flew by. Prince has been missing a while, and that's why. Straight up eaten. Hey, we got him. You have to hit him with a hammer. 
for Luigi, you saved me, didn't you? Why, thank you so much, you're a huge help. Bye bye, Luigi. Look at how you've grown. I see, I wasn't aware of the whole shrinking business. Hey, Luigi, I'm not too fond of his body size. Do you think you could change me back? It's like, it's like any any rational person would be very concerned at this point. Like, what if I hit you in the head with my hammer? Okay, but be careful. Now we're blinded again. The difference of my shine now that I'm back to normal. Zing, now that's a shine. Thank you so much, Luigi. I feel like I must thank you. Please, I insist you accept this. I found this inside that large piranha plant back there. Please take it. I'm returning my old self again once again, so there's no point in staying here longer. I will most definitely be getting the next Bean Star piece. I give my regards to Mr. Red Mustache. He's just like watching through a gate right now. It's like, God, I hope Luigi's okay. Yeah, thank you for the raid. How's it going, folks? Okay, we gotta we gotta make our way back now. Can I move this guy from this side? <laughs> Sir, oh, we're gonna have to go around. It's just awkward. Here's the massive space where the ship left from. Oh wait, no, this is absolutely not the right way, hang on. Come on. There's literally space around the gate. Yeah, it's... Not gonna let us do that, are they? Let's go for the walk. We have fun with this game, it's my favorite, uh, so we just have to see it. Ah, uh, it's my favorite of the Mario and Luigi series. I I've been having so much fun playing this again, it's just been like a pure nostalgia trip for me. I really hope people have been enjoying it too. We'll probably finish this on Thursday. Um, we haven't got too much left to go. Mainly just missing beans. We gotta feed the Yoshis. Find them. All the hungry ones are inside. This is a movie theater. What's this? Someone's in the action blockbuster, Mario and Luigi. That sounds so cool. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, they have they have some films here. Uh, like they got some references in here. Uh, even though the cafe ones were cut. There's Kirby Story. There's Wario. M and L. Legend of Staffy. Let's give them fruit. First, it tastes just like beans. Then the flavor of fruit oozes out. Bean fruit is the best. Immediate egg. Oh, you can take that. It's just like my unborn child. Purple neon egg. Popping them out. <laughs> Neon laxatives. Yeah, the bean fruit must be very powerful to work through their system this quick. <laughs> it's like running straight through their, their system. Yoshi biology is weird. They died in the egg, what makes it glow is the soul. Jesus Christ. Mario needs to wash his hands after this. He really does. These eggs are probably very warm by the, by the speed they're coming out at. It's 
very un unhygienic. He does have gloves on, I guess, but I don't think he washes those gloves too often. Uh, we, 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 <laughs> we can sterilize him just with some fire. <laughs> My neon eggs are beautiful. On the sign you go. There we go. You did it, you did it. I'm sure the Yoshi will love their flashing children up there. The eggs go. Banzai. Thanks to YouTube, my theater is now complete. Marvelous. Very well, as promised, here's your reward. Something wrong with the Yoshi Theater. Sacrifice is complete. <laughs> hey, you have all four pieces. Hurry back to Bean Bean Castle. Excellent. We're gonna be rather busy preparing for a grand opening. Pardon us. And we gotta gotta walk on back now. Just imagine all the Bean characters speaking like Mr. Bean. It's the Kingdom of Beans. No, you'd get nothing done. They'd all be like bumbling about. Save your game. That's oh, sorry. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we saved it. If it crashed at this point, we'd be in trouble. We have to do all the T-shirts again. <laughs> Drop this off. Bean star assembled. Just glue it back together. It should be all right. Bean star is revived. Got the bean star. Bean star is finally back to normal. The message is arrived from Bowletta. I shudder to think. Keep sending them on Game Boy Advances. It's very expensive to send these. Very good. Tools make fine scavengers. I want red and green to bring that bean star to me. Drop points at the far end of the ocean. That crypt for cruddy jokes called Jokes End. Can't get the jokes end by walking on the seafloor, so don't try it, Cretans. Come after you learn how to cross the sea surface. Don't lose the bean star on the way, Butterfingers. She, uh, that they plan to, move, to return Princess Peach when we give it the Bean Star. And they can't be planning to use Peach's voice to awaken the Bean Star after all. It seemed to be so. Relax, all of you. We can just give the fiend this. Oh, a fake Bean Star, of course. So, uh, I made this in art and craft. Look at this. It's taking long to change of clothes for the princess. The princess Peach likely tried to escape due an untold damage to her lovely dress. Even if it drives me bad, curse that Bowletta. This old servant can help help in some small way. Peach's extra dress. At the joke's end, you have no choice but to travel above the ocean waves. Perhaps you go to the beach, you'll find a way to get there. Apparently there was once quite a fine surfing spot at one of this land's beaches. We just blind you again before you set off. Two of you will execute our daring plan. Like always. Oh, I almost forgot. We won our little bean star wager, so here are your mushroom coins. A, a lot of them. Today's exchange rate. Like, literally like 99 quadrillion mushroom coins comes to 99 bean coins. The exchange rate has gotten worse since the start of the game. Wait a minute, actually hang on, wait, we could do the maths. 100 Mushroom Kingdom coins at the start of this game was the equivalent of 10 bean bean coins. Wait, how, how bad did it get? It's, it's been like a week. <laughs> Even the Zimbabwe dollar didn't fall this far, right? Like... 
Oh no, what percent is that? Well, wait, what percent is it? Oh, please. Okay, hang on. So, 99 coins was 10 before. Um, 999 should roughly be 100. So, it went from... Wait, how, how many nines was it? It was two, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Okay, divided by... A hundred trillion. It's, it's gone up a hundred trillion percent. That's a pretty bad percent. That's, that's a bad sign. <laughs> the economy will never recover. How- is it actually a hundred trillion? Oh my god. It'll never recover. It's just dead. No, a hundred trillion is how many he gave you. Are you sure? How- how- oh, we- I- I gotta work at the max, hang on. This is too important, hang on, I've got- I've got a notepad. It was four sets of nine and then two at the start. Was it? Was it four sets of nine? How many nines was it? Rewind the check. Okay, hang on. No, we've been here too long. <laughs> it's not gonna last. We were working out the maths too long. Oh, someone please work it out. Is it- is it really- it's one trillion to one. Did it really go up like one trillion percent? <laughs> Currently it's around one trillion mushroom coins to one bean bean coin. <laughs> oh, the- So the mushroom kingdom economy is gonna be in shambles. The mushroom kingdom has gone to shit cause like Peach isn't here anymore. Like, the toads have nothing left. They have absolutely nothing left. <laughs> it's so over. Like, Peach, you should never have left. Reddit figured out it's an 8.6 trillion percent inflation. <laughs> Point six trillion percent. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Holy shit, the Mushroom Kingdom's dead. They can't buy food anymore. Like, there's, there's nothing left. They're gonna have to, like, melt down their homes. And try sell them. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's gonna cost the kingdom to buy a loaf of bread. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's so funny. Okay, uh, I think on uh, I think on that note we're gonna leave the stream there for tonight because um, it's starting to get late. Uh, but thank you so much everyone for coming by.
I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to everyone for all the birthday wishes, too. Thanks for all the support, uh, as well as the way at the Pokemon tournament. It was very kind of you. So I hope you all enjoyed the stream tonight. Uh, we will finish this on Thursday. We'll just get back to it then. I, I think it's one more stream. There's like, uh... I think it's like two-ish dungeons. Left to go. Yep, so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely finish it soon. Yeah, thank you for coming by. If you want something more to watch from me, there's the Marie Pylites on the YouTube channel. And outside of that, there's gonna be someone streaming. You have a quick old look. 8.6 trillion percent. That's just... That's so funny. It's been like a week too. Like, cause that, that's the weekly, like, inflation rate. That's weekly. I know Brian David Gilbert did like, um, he did like a, um, a video where he calculates Mario's retirement fund and inflation is the biggest problem. I think he needs to do a second calculation with that new percent for inflation. 8.6 trillion. <laughs> In a week. Oh, it's so damn bad. That's so damn bad. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave you in Peach's care. Uh, Peach is one of my mods. She was floating about on the stream earlier. We were playing, uh, we were playing Magic over the weekend too. A good time. She's playing some Resi Resident Evil 4. Uh, it's, it's the new version of it, I do believe. Go say the Peach. Go wish her well. Yeah, thanks for coming though, folks. I'll be back on Thursday. Have a good night.